Marvin, test, test. Can oh, y'all yeah. hear us? All right. Do we, you... have, do we have sound now? Did they hear us before? Can y'all hear us now? Yeah. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Welcome to that One Piece talk. My name is Larry. Lawrence. Sam. Lionel. And this is that One Piece talk. Where we talk One Piece. Woo! How did it bring it back? Feel the hype. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. We are very blessed to have you. Especially all the newcomers that uh, want to know about something. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you one more time and see how my guys are doing, bro. How you guys doing? I'm good, man. I was mad I missed last week's episode. Y'all held it down, you know, without <laughs> the boy. I was I was out of town. We missed you, bro. I I, I could feel oh. it. I could feel it, like that y'all missed me, but y'all yeah. ain't need me, and I love that. <laughs> I love that. We so, usually man. don't though. Y'all was struggling. Yeah, <laughs> you were struggling with them super chats, bro. I see you. Yo, bro, I was, bro. It's hard, <laughs> I bro. Bring a I got a phone. I got to read. I got to do. Why you ain't bring a laptop, bro? bro it's that's so much mad easier. Mad work, oh, bro. My God. And we even missed them. I think last time. Sorry for the ones we missed. Yes, last we did episode. miss some. Y'all so Apologize. Disappointed. Y'all did need me, bro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> low, low key, it's Mars' fault. He kicked us out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mars' fault. Oh. Yeah, I was rambling on, and you went into mothering mode. Don't I, listen. I'm on your ass today. <laughs> Listen, yo, that yo, the meat meat was yo. yo, he articulated his words very well. I hope he makes a YouTube. That dude is gonna be a star. I hope he changes his name. The meat meat? <laughs> no, 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 no. The meat meat's perfect, bro. Meat to meat. Oh my god. I yeah. Can't. What about you, Law? How's everything, bro? Alright, doing alright. Busy day. Um ate again before the pod, real quick. Oh yeah. That's rare occasions when I do. But I'm alright, besides that, just you know, getting stuff done. Um, how about you, bro? All right, man. You keeping your underwear clean? Of course. Uh, I just got, yo, I just got to ask, bro. You said you ate, bro. Just in case you... <laughs> Always clean, you know what I'm saying? Yo, just in what? case you got bubble guts. That's oh, my God. God. Oh, that <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah. Yo, everything's good, bro. Yeah? Yeah. We got into a little, little, little drama. Oh yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We got into a little drama. A little I know you guys didn't know much about it. Seb knew a little. A little bit. I'm suspended on Twitter, so <laughs> I, I won't get into. You why. gotta stop looking at all that NFC. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get unsuspended, bro. I can't get unsuspended. I can't get unsuspended on Twitter, bro. Listen, listen. Um, I don't even know where to start. To be honest, I'm between like going the high road and the low road. So mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna choose the middle. <laughs> Sometimes I, that middle road is, is where you wanna be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta choose the middle. And we're gonna uh, just to let everybody know what's happening. Uh, this is a schedule. So we're gonna do this drama part specifically. Then we're gonna get into the chapter because obviously that's what we're here for. And then we're gonna take phone calls after. All right. So how should I start this? <laughs> All right. So I've been thinking about how to come onto the pod, and it's the reason why I didn't do a chapter review um, is because of the fact that there's so much, oh, I should move over a little bit. There's so much to talk about, right? So much to talk about. And the reason why there's so much to talk about is because literally I'm on vacation, having a blast with my family, right? Saturday comes along, I get some downtime. It's like 12 or something like that, like 11, I don't know. Chilling, laying down, tired. Look at me, bro. Hey, you need I'm, a tan. You I'm tan. gold, bro. I, I was I'm gonna looking mention good, bro. <laughs> yeah. Tanned up. But I ended up seeing mad notifications in our, our Twitter. And the reason why is because I go on to Twitter and I schedule the videos according to the next day so I don't have to wake up and, like, post them or, like, if I oversleep, right? And I'm like, damn, I got mad notifications, bro. And I'm thinking, like, one of our videos popped off. Or like Geo from Twitter, like reposted our thing, and the power of his popularity, like somehow caught the video and it made it catch fire. Because that's mm -hmm. usually what happens on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, bet. Let's see what video popped off. It wasn't a video that popped off. Mm -hmm. It was a video, but it wasn't the video <laughs> I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> so uh, the struggle. Uh, no, my bad, my bad, my bad. I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna go the middle road. The hidden island ended up. Quoting a tweet that we made towards Grand Line Review. I looked at the, the tweet from Grand Line Review and I saw 
that he was giving free game to somebody on Twitter where he was saying, if you do something regarding YouTube, you can make a full-time salary if you reach 100,000 subscribers. And I was like, I wrote, we like when Liam goes off like this because realistically, I like it. Like, that's free game. I love that you're trying to inspire somebody else to do something. Yeah. Now, did I read the tweet or anything like that? No, I didn't read the tweet of what he was, you know, replying to. But I saw that and I was like, oh, bet. He's giving free game. Like, mm -hmm. no matter what, that's free game. Mm -hmm. Right? So the Hidden Island, and I'll, I'll talk about Hidden Island in a few. The Hidden Island ended up re-quoting uh, re that tweet with us. And said, don't let Liam see this. And it was a clip from three months ago, right? Chapter 1080, right? April 9th is when the chapter came out. Mm -hmm. He decided to go back to the, the last episode he'll ever be on again, by the way. And say, this is what Larry said about Liam. Let me end his relationship immediately with that guy. And I was and I watched the clip. He literally only took a clip that was a part of a three hour podcast. <laughs> a three hour podcast. He just took that one clip. But you know what he didn't do? He didn't post the rest of the clip. So we're gonna watch that clip right now. And we're gonna actually get really deep into it. So Marv, can you do that real quick, brother? And show it on the screen for us? Here's a thumbnail. I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. To any of the One Piece content creators that spoil our community to amass views, it's nauseating how, like, sheep-minded you are. Like, it's literally peasant-like behavior, bro. Like, what gives you the boldness to lower yourself to, like, a such a shameful level? Like, I can't tell you enough, bro, how hard it was to avoid spoilers. And I usually do a good job because I, I just don't follow or go on things that I, are going to spoil me. It was like, it was just so stupid, bro. Like, straight off the bat, like, eat a, can you, can you, like, put it smaller so you could show our faces too a little bit? Just so we could have, like, that good, uh, I want them to see our faces. Yeah, yeah, I want them to see our faces while we're watching this. So you could make it like a little smaller. My bad, guys. I'm giving you high quality content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even rewatch the clip. <laughs> Not as fun. And just make us a bit bigger, Marv. Oh, okay. Oh, just do it then. Just leave it as that. You can go. Yeah, yeah. A dick. Like I know that <laughs> I can't say that because Lawrence is here, but like, straight up, you. Like seriously. I don't care what other bridges we burn with any other content creators. Like, I just don't. Like, I don't care if we never get invited to, like, the One Piece reverie. We'll just make our own, and it'll just be way better. Like, for example, like, I'll just name I'll, I'll just name a few people. Like, straight off the bat, Hidden. Because they even like some of our Twitter stuff. Grand Line Review, Marshall D. Preach, Anime Uproar, Weak-Willed People, bro. Like, I don't care if we have a relationship where we talked. Weak willed as fuck. I mean, my bad for saying that for it. The more I Sorry, can Lawrence. name more people just to like name drop, but like if if you're marketing your content by spoiling others before even TCB or OP scans puts out their material and you're going off of pure bullet points, you obviously fell off. At the end of the day, you just fell off. Like it's weird too, because it's like, why are you spoiling others' enjoyment? to gain views like is your content not there like are you not capable of providing better content can you not make better thumbnails to like get more people to watch your stuff and you know what it is if your product is good enough you never have to worry about that stuff you never have to go down to those marketing schemes to put other people down and it's like i know you got into it with somebody else because of it and it's like yo why do y'all do that like what's the like what do you generate truly you gain the initial reaction from the initial of the fans bro the reason why we have our podcast on mondays is because the sundays uh they officially dropped their chapters right but like 
we still have more people in our channel than a lot of other people who have a lot of subscribers more than us. It, are they here for the initial reaction? No, they're here for the product. Does it matter? So why are you spoiling people? I just hate it, bro. You know what it is? And this is... Um, I hate it, bro. When people do that, when people do that, it's because they get they get the immediate results whenever they do it because there's a there's a portion of the community that's looking for spoiler videos and they get the immediate results because when you drop a spoiler video it's not like you're dropping it 3 years after the spoilers happened you're dropping it when they when they come out so that's when the topic's hot that's when everyone's going to jump to the platform you could be a channel with 5 subscribers you could be a channel with 30 subscribers or 100 or 1000 or a million if you make a video talking about the new the new events in One Piece, the way it works is it's going to get more views than if I, you know, I've made videos talking about stuff that's not topical. Um, that doesn't get very many views, but if I were to make something talking about the new chapter, it would definitely get a lot more views just by virtue of being the current thing, the recent thing. So what happens is people double down on that where it's like, okay, well, if the recent thing is uh, is what gets me the views, then... Let's do it for the extra recent stuff. Let's do stuff that's not even being... No one else is posting these spoilers in their thumbnails, so I'm the first one there. Yeah. So I'm getting the hot scoop. So then they drop the video, they get the they get the return, and then it's, you know, it's a kind of a feedback loop where it's like, okay, well, this obviously works. It grows my channel. The problem with that is, and, and at the end of the day, this is what it really comes down to, it's not about... Uh, it's not about views. It's about... It, it, well, it really is it's just about prioritizing... You know uh, the community's enjoyment of the story over your your channel's performance. That's really what it's about. Because yeah, mm -hmm. maybe you get a boost in numbers from putting the spoilers, but what do you get? What what what's the cost of that? Is you know people get spoiled in the process, and then you could you could not put them in there, and no one gets spoiled, and maybe some people don't click your video, but everyone's happy. Yep. And I think that's what we should strive for. Is we should we should strive. To make it so that even if you're, you're not getting, if, if you're not min-maxing, if you're not getting the absolute optimum number of views mm -hmm. per video, at least everyone's happy and no one's gonna be, no one's gonna be complaining that you spoiled them on the story. So with me, when it's like, whenever I make a video, I try and think to myself, is this something that if I put it in the thumbnail or title, someone that's not caught up yet, are they gonna look at this or are they gonna be able to draw conclusions about real story events based on what my title or thumbnail says? A lot of people out there don't really think about it that hard. They don't care about it that much. They figure, and and you know, I guess we don't have the num we don't have the stat sheets to pull up and do the comparisons and have this whole discussion now. But you know, they figure, well, it works for me. It gets me the views. That's how my channel's growing. I need to survive. I you know, uh, I don't get that many complaints. I get a few comments that complain, but all yeah. in all, everyone seems to like the video. Well, the thing is, people that aren't looking for spoilers aren't going to click on your video and tell you that you spoiled them. Oftentimes, if I get spoiled by something, I want it out of my page as fast as possible. I avoid the video. Mm -hmm. I don't comment. I don't go dislike it. I don't click on it because I don't want more spoilers right. on my screen. Mm -hmm. So all the people you are spoiling probably are not telling you you're spoiling them unless they're really angry. The really angry ones you hear from, they're like the, the, the crazy angry people that, that flame on social media, those are a small percentage of actual people out there that are watching your videos and looking at your content. They they will be the ones to type something. Mm -hmm. They are not reflective of the average person. The people that type mean shit, the people that type hateful stuff on the internet, those are not the average person. The average person that actually takes an issue with what you're doing or that takes an issue with the spoilers, they're not going to comment. They're not going to say anything to you. They're not going to let their voices be known because the average person just doesn't have the time, doesn't have the energy. They don't care enough to do that. They don't want to see more spoilers. Mm -hmm. So we can't be going off of the numbers of what we see on our end as content creators, what numbers come into the channel. Because all the, the only numbers that come into the channel are the numbers of people that actually want to see my content. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm getting a very narrowed, biased perspective on my audience. It does not reflect the whole One Piece community. None of our audiences do. No content creator's single audience represents the whole One Piece community. <laughs> so you can't judge mm -hmm. how it's affecting people based on your audience. So that's what I'm, I'm going to leave ahead. it there. But spit, at the end of the spit, day, basically, guys, spit, hit just, <laughs> go ahead. Know, I'm sorry to hear that you got spoiled. <laughs> tell them, tell them exactly you know, what I was in saying. In terms of like naming names, all that stuff, I, I'll, I've already gotten into some heat myself. So oh, I'm did gonna, you? You know, keep out of that ring. Listen, but I, man, will just I don't say, care, man. Yo, we used to follow Brago, bro. I unsubscribed from Brago, bro. Just because he was putting stuff out too, man. Like, and out, I, out of thumbnail? Yeah. And it was before the official, uh, like, drop. And, like, I'm going to be honest, bro. Don't need to collab with you. We don't ever need to be at the One Piece Reverie. Mm. We are too damn good at what we do. Mm. And 
We make amazing content, and we've gotten this far on our own, and we're climbing high. We are literally the best One Piece podcast in our community, and we are going to be the most followed One Piece podcast in our community. And the thing is, we have the most loving and respectful community as well, and we're going to continue to push that bar higher because Conqueror's Hockey runs through our goddamn veins, Tell and we're just going to keep being the best at what we do. <laughs> Woo! So if you have a problem with me calling you out, stop spoiling, bro. Make better content. You can pause and it I'm there, Marv. I'm going to leave it at that. Pause it there, Marvin. You can bring us back on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> so for anybody that did just watch the clip, that's the full clip. So if y'all want to call out me for calling out people directly, I mean, hit an island. You got some explaining to do, huh? You ain't say no names, but you said a whole lot of the same things that I said, right? But nobody watches that clip. Why? Because they're so used to jumping on the bandwagon and saying why they should hate us. Why we are toxic for the community. So let's talk about the creators I named. Marshall D. Preach, Grand Line Review. Uh, who is the third person? I forgot. Oh, I, I called out Anime, anime Uproar. Uproar. Yeah, and, and Brago, Brago, of course. So we'll just go one by one. I'll tell you right now, Anime Uproar, they haven't even seen us, so it's cool. We don't got to respond to them, but we have proof. We put the, the, the thumbnail that they made in the Twitter. So let's talk about Marshall D. Preach. Yo, Marv, can you bring up uh, the Twitter that I posted uh, myself? I already got the receipts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, can you put the little screen of us again? All right. So I can't really see it, so let me just do it myself. Hold on. No, I got it, Marv. I got it. I got it. I got it. I, I, I just need to double down. You know what I'm saying? I, I need to show people why the nonsense and the foolery is not true. Mm. So it says, we do not have proof for some content creators because they do delete videos, streams, and posts during the day of when chapters drop from TCB or OP scans after some time or when they're pressured to because the community has been complaining about spoiler culture. So I pointed out some people that I could find at that time and moment because I'm on vacation and I'm like, yo, I can't do this all right now. We pointed out anime uproar, putting Garp with Conqueror's Hockey and Blackbeard on the thumbnail, specifically for chapter 1080. More, you can switch the screen back to us. Then there was another uh, two content creators that I applauded. And that was Mr. Morge and Sai. They make generic thumbnails that do not spoil the chapters. I applauded that. This dude, Marshall D. Preach, decided, decided that we were belittling them, talking about their name incorrectly. They thought we were shitting on them and all that. Yo, this dude has sent like 20 text messages nonstop <laughs> to the community. And literally, he went into group chats with all the big content creators in it to repost that clip to say that we are fraudulently like putting them down and we're toxic for the community. It's crazy, yo. If we're toxic for the community and you're doing something toxic, well, that's contradicting yourself, right? Yeah. I mean, if, if I wanted to go a step further, I'm in that group chat that you sent that. Like, we're in that group chat. So when you sent that, why didn't you screenshot all the other content creators' uh, responses after that? Because I'm not going to name names, but one of them was like, yo, they're literally in the chat right now. Why don't you just DM them? Mm -hmm. Another one was like, yo, this is not the place or the time to do this. This is a group chat for us to network and you're spreading hate. And then another person was like, yo, that sounds like a personal issue between y'all. I don't want to be involved. So if you're going to post things, why not post that? Because clearly there's something weird going on, right? Hey, Marv, can you bring up the point of Marshall D. Preach saying that he doesn't put thumbnails that are spoiler at all? Can you put that up real quick? If I spoil 
If anything, I spoil less than uh, Sai because all of my thumbnails on spoiler content was the exact same Zoro slash Luffy thumbnail every week and I made that known from the beginning. You don't have a response to us because you know you're wrong. Once again, you're targeting us specifically because you don't like us for some reason, not because we spoil. In parentheses, we don't. Yo, Marv, can you, can you bring up the other picture? The other one? Damn. So, so what I see here is that Preach, you know, we were at 10K total subscribers three months ago. Uh, he congratulated us on the 10K. Appreciate that. <laughs> I, looked at, I looked at Preach's timeline because of that notification. And if you look up, what do we see? One Piece 1080 hype stream. And there is... Kobe saying next hero and Godfist Garp. Damn. Mm -hmm. Is that a spoiler or nah, bro? Look like a spoiler to me if you ask me. Yeah, so you could flip the camera back to us, Mark. So realistically speaking, I mean, if we really want to get down to it, you lied. <laughs> <laughs> You lied. Like, you directly lied. You said that you don't do those things, yet you lied. Is it on your actual channel? No, but did you promote it on Twitter? Yeah. Did I, did I search for it in the moment that I was writing my long tweet? No. But did I find it today? Yeah. This is me taking the high road and the low road, because I can take a lower road, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to do the middle. Middle road. Um... <laughs> So I'm going to just end it there. I don't think I need to uh, do anything crazy. Uh, you know, I just want to say thank you to Preach for all the marketing, marketing that you've done for us. <laughs> you did a good job, bro. So thank you. I hope you continue reposting our stuff. Um, now, I, I do want to touch base on what I said regarding uh, Brago. So Brago ended up going on Twitch yesterday and looking at our clip looking at the clip itself, and then looking at the tweets of everything that was happening. He's dissecting it, making fun of it, saying we have peasant behavior as well, saying that we seemed a little immature, saying that, well, if you want to be the best One Piece podcast, then do that. I have bigger goals than that. Fair. Have your opinion. But what I will say is this. For anybody that does anything, have pride in it. Don't ever think because someone else thinks lower of it than you that you have to think that way too. Because I do everything this way. I hold pride in everything that I do. So if I'm going to go off and try an ambition, I'm going to be the best at that ambition. That's, that's simple. It doesn't matter if it's of lower quality than another goal that I may have. I'm sorry, that just doesn't run in my blood, bro. Now, he was also like, well, I don't have beef with these guys. And if we were ever to, like, talk, we would have to have a talk. And I'm like, yo, that's cool. That's what we do. We talk. We're that one yeah, piece talk. talk. Exactly. <laughs> it's in our name. <laughs> so it's like, yo, we could talk. And then people, he was, like, going on about, all right, which thumbnails do I have spoilers in? And it was a bit condescending, a bit sarcastic. But then his chat, as he was reviewing his thumbnails, was like, yo, you do be spoiling, though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yo, you do be spoiling, though, bro. Like, yo, that's a spoiler. And he started going down and started like, yo, this is kind of like a spoiler. And then this is where it came into the, the tweets with Grand Line Review, where it's like, what's considered a spoiler and what's not a spoiler? I think... If it has to pertain with the chapter and you're directly insinuating that's who's in the chapter or what's going to happen in a chapter, that's spoiler. Like, I don't feel like we need to go into details to be like, yo, that's a spoiler, bro. Like, one, you have a community, you've been in a game long enough, and you have great enough talent to know what's a spoiler or not. Like, mm -hmm. come on, bro. Like, you shouldn't try to justify it. You know when you see it. You know, you know when, when you, you see, see it. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You Everybody know when you can see identify it. what a spoiler is. And then after uh, the stream was done, Brago was like, F these ends. F these ends. Take it off the topic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was like, then F you, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, F you then, bro. Like, like. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. I was actually laughing. 
Um, that would have made me laugh too. I yeah, know. that was funny. <laughs> but the thing was, he only watched that one clip. He didn't watch the clip with Hidden in it, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, like that's cool. Just watch that then. I'm fine with that. Now, when it comes to terms of the reverie, I want to make this very clear. The reason why I said we don't need to get invited to the reverie, we could just make our own and it'd be just as good, is because necessarily, I'm not saying the reverie's terrible. I'm not saying that we don't want to go to the reverie. I'm saying based on my reaction for who I was talking about, who has more ground than us that at the reverie, you know what I'm saying? That we wouldn't be able to be invited because of what I'm saying right then and there. I know initially that what I'm saying is going to aggravate them, it's going to frustrate them, they're going to take offense to it, and we're not going to be invited because of it. Why? Because those guys stick together. They're, you know, they network, they, they're cool with each other. And I'm like, yo, that's why I'm saying, if we don't get invited to a reverie, why can't I just not make my own with people that give just as great of like content, but they don't have as many subscribers. And I think that's what people get confused about is that when you have subscribers and you have a large following, you're considered to be the greatest of the greatest. I don't think that's true. You know what I'm saying? I, I have we have more subs than other people, but I guarantee you those people have good content too. So it's like I'm not directly saying that we don't want to be at the reverie. I was actually happy. And I don't know if you guys knew, but in our Discord, I had to talk it over with people if we wanted to go to the reverie or not. And they were saying, yo, you should just go. I was like, okay, let's go. Now, the reason we didn't want to go as well is because of that reason. Also, there's a second reason. A lot of content creators don't realize that when they link up with other content creators, they're not essentially trying to be their friend. They're trying to network in order to gain followers and subs to put more eyes on them, right? It's, it's networking. It's just making your journey easier to reach a, a certain milestone, a certain goal. I don't look at things that way. Like, if I mess with you, if I'm cool with you, we're cool with you. We have you on a studio. Like, like we become friends with you. We don't see you as an opportunity to gain more subs. If we do something incredible, it's to be incredible. It's to genuinely have a friendship at the end of the day. And I know content creators that link up with other people not to be their friend. Why? Because their product is not as good as ours. Our subs, our followers on every social media platform is built through hard work and consistency. I generate that amount of love. I, I generate the, the Discord community and make them as great as they are. That's it. I don't need somebody else to uplift me. I don't need somebody else to give me a helping hand. I don't want it. But what I do want is to everybody to like show love and like, you know, like if we got like if you can't take criticism, then you can't also take applause. And that's basically what happened, right? I got critical of some people about their thumbnail making. I called them out in an aggressive way, which was wrong. But at the end of the day, I shouldn't have said it that harshly. That's me being the bigger man. Like I shouldn't have said things that harshly. But I was mad because I got spoiled by these three people and I took my frustration out. Now, should I have done it when Hidden was here? That don't really matter to me. Because Hidden chose to talk on his own. He could have just stayed silent and just kept it moving. The same way you guys stayed silent and kept it moving. But he didn't, right? Like, he chose to act that way. Like, he chose to speak like that. Doesn't? They're never going to put me and him together and be like, yo, like, he also said that. Nah, he was just here. It's on me. The same way I don't call my brothers out. Um, so I do want to say to everybody that we did meet at the Reverie, it was an honor to meet you. It was fun. We had a very great time. And we went to and stayed for 11 hours because of King Recon. Because we were building a friendship with King Recon and we wanted to support him and show him the most amount of love. That's it. And that's another creator that doesn't, from what I remember, doesn't put spoilers in his thumbnails. Or on Twitter. Or on Twitter. So it's like, if you've been here long enough, you kind of know like 
what I'm about. I have a big head, yo. <laughs> like, I don't know if y'all noticed, like, I'm a bald dude. I like being bald. I like having a, yo. He don't like being bald. Yo, yo, no, no, <laughs> yo, 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 Marv had to change these. This is my fifth <laughs> set of headphones. Cause I keep breaking them. I'm sorry, bro. I got a big head, Mega Mind, dog. What's up, man? Yo, Mars attacks, bro. Like all these, all these big-headed characters. That's me, bro. Pinky in the brain. <laughs> Seb Pinky. He don't look like it, but he's Pinky. <laughs> he's I'm the brain. Like I'm the brain, bro. Oh like, my god. I, I, you, you know, what I'm saying this is who I am. And, um, you know, to touch on hidden. And this will be the final, final thing, final thing I'll ever say about Hidden. The, it'll be the final time you'll ever hear Hidden out of my mouth. I really want to take the low road. I do. I do want to be the smaller person in this predicament, but I'm not. I'm going to say Hidden has things that I won't put out into the air that he has to deal with on his own. And for me to him, I wish him love, I wish him happiness, and most of all, I wish him peace. Because his punishment is that he'll never be able to come to this studio ever again. And he'll never be friends with us again. Because if you ask my brothers, we treated that man like gold. When his wife came here, treated her like gold. And I feel like to miss a friendship out on us that's your punishment like i don't i don't have to go into crazy stuff to be like yo like you deserve this or speak bad on your name like nah bro you gotta deal with that because at the end of the day you gotta live your life and we get to live ours so it disappoints me but i haven't talked to that man for a long time and i ended our friendship officially because he chose to do things that just wasn't that wasn't a part of friendship so I hate to see it I hate to lose a friend but this is why we don't collab with people we don't need them if I say we're the best One Piece podcast ever it's not because of arrogance or or um, being egotistical it's pride you should be prideful of the things that you're capable of you should be you should take pride in your talent you should take pride in the hard work and consistency that you continue to push out. You think we got from 10K subs on three months ago to like almost 50K subs three months later? That doesn't happen by magic. That happens because of the product and because you consistently put in the hard work. I don't know what else to say, but that's the gist of everything, guys. Really is. I wish Preach the best, even though I will never mess with that dude. I wish him also he, he love and happiness. I wish him love and happiness. I wish I wish he finds peace as well because he act like I slapped his mom. <laughs> <laughs> like the way he way he going about, bro. He act like I slapped his mom, bro. So uh, J J uh, Grand Line Review. It's unfortunate we had a very big stream for Family Feud, including a lot of big One Piece content creators. I have to now reach out to each of them and I hope that they see this this video and and realize like I was harsh on my wording but if you weren't doing the things that you were doing cool like we still cool but other than that Grand Line Review is out and we had him um, and we were building a relationship with him I, I actually thought he was pretty funny uh, I like his sarcasm <laughs> uh, yo listen to uh, Brago and Grand Line Review they make dope thumbnails they just spoil on them but overall, them thumbnails hit mad hard. I'd be impressed. I'd be wanting to click on it. <laughs> Straight up. But that's a spoiler, that kid. That's a spoiler. <laughs> like, I, I got to avoid them. And uh, who else? I mean, again, like, it, it's it's internet beef. Like, we're not about that. At the end of the day, this is a Japanese cartoon. and <laughs> Anime. Yeah, anime. I... <laughs> and we're here to talk about One Piece. This is our. This is what we all love. I mean, it gets no better than that, right? So, listen, uh, everybody that I called out, you'll never hear from me again. That's it. It's dead in the water. And I stand ten toes on what I said. I just said it aggressively. And that's the only thing I'm going to apologize for. Just, just stop being in the herd, bro. 
And that's it. All right. <laughs> you, you good? Yeah, I know I spoke a lot. My bad, guys. <laughs> nah, you no, good, you good, man. You good. Listen, I'm glad we were able to address that. Like I told Larry yesterday, it is what it is. We're all growing at the end of the day. You know, if you do BS, you get, you're allowed to be called out on it by somebody who's in the same space as you. That's what Larry did when he called people out for spoiling in the thumbnails and on Twitter. Doesn't mean it's beef for life or that you hate them. It's just that you didn't respect something that they did and you were willing to call them out for it. You're allowed to big up those same dudes that you called out for positive things that they do in the community. That is not trying to grab onto somebody's coattails. If you see somebody doing something dope, you're allowed to congratulate them, even if you did critique them in the past. And I was gonna speak on Hidden, but Larry said the words better than I could ever, so is what it is. Yeah, if preaching a chat, tell them stop being soft, bro. Oh, I do have one more thing to say. If you are a fan of ours, a true fan, and you're in our community, please, please, please do not go to preach, do not go to uh, hidden, do not go to anybody with hate. Thank you. Don't, yes. don't, oh, don't no. harass them. Don't comment on, on stuff that may offend you because you love us. Don't do any of that. Please do not do that because that doesn't represent what we are. Like, we don't do those things, right? Like, we always say it on this podcast. We don't argue. We debate. We take the emotional side out of it, right? We, we speak with facts. So for me, please, and I'm going to say this one more time, do not go to their Twitters. Do not go to their Instagrams. Do not go to their YouTubes. Do not go to their TikToks and badmouth them. Do not talk about them in any negative way. Let them be them. All right? Please, for me, do not do that because we have to be the bigger man in this situation. It does not look good when we do that. So I took the low road and I took the high road. I'm in the middle right now. But that is a very big thing that I do want to say. Do not instigate. Do not go over there. Do not treat them with hate. No disrespect. It's peace and love, baby. Like, that's it. Show love to them. No matter what, show love to them. And that's what I want to say. Yeah, yeah, I'm over now. All right. We do have a chapter to get into, so we will do that <laughs> very shortly. But we do have a bunch of Super Chats sitting. Um, I guess I can start reading them off now. Yeah. And y'all, if you haven't already, please like this stream. We got four, almost 500 people in the chat in viewing. Only 161 likes. Y'all, please ha like the stream. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Yeah, if y'all hear from other people and y'all trying to hate on us, just like the video, bro. That's the, <laughs> that's the best way to hate on us. <laughs> <laughs> right, yo, watch out though. You might like the video and might tap on my big, my big head, bro. <laughs> yo, listen, bro, you might hit it. So, yeah, we got two dollars from Bama King. It says watching while working. Love y'all. Hey, Lair Bear. <laughs> Lair Bear. <laughs> we had another two. Uh, we had another uh, Yonko status membership from Procumbent. Uh, thank you so much for becoming a Yonko. That is our highest tier of membership. Enjoy all the emojis. <laughs> that come with being a Yonko. We got another two from HJ Poss. It says, yo, Larry, uh, you need to trim that beard up like Rayleigh. <laughs> I feel like you could pull that off. Well, the, the thing is, if we went to Comic-Con and Anime NYC or whatever, because mm -hmm. we're going no matter what, yeah. um, Lionel said he wanted to be Rayleigh. Lionel was Rayleigh? Yeah. I'm it, trying to see and how And Lauren said he, he would do Shanks. So all if, of, if he's Rayleigh, you gotta be Roger, bro. I said Shanks. I think I said Roger. Yeah, if he's Rayleigh, he got to be Roger. I think I said oh, Roger. then Lionel said Rayleigh. Yeah, you said Shanks. I said Blackbeard. Yeah. So something like that. Roger, yeah, Rayleigh, yeah, yeah. Shanks, Blackbeard. Yeah, something like that. We did get another 20 gifted memberships <laughs> from our guy, Pig Hudson. Pig, thank you so much for being so generous as you always are. I got them. Uh, hey. For those of you that are receiving the membership, uh, thank W's in the chat for Pig. I know I saw them earlier, uh, but appreciate everything you do for us, Pig. We got another 65 SEK, I don't know what that is, uh, from Jalmar. It says, do you guys think Law could use his soul swap ability seen in Punk Hazard on Big Mom's homies, Zeus and Hera, etc." Whoever can make the best uh, big head <laughs> meme about me, uh, I'll give them like $10. <laughs> <laughs> Super chat. Yo, 
<laughs> I want to laugh, bro. Oh, my God. I yeah. want to laugh, Yes, bro. please make that meme about Larry. Yeah. Screenshot this. Take his big old head and yeah, do whatever here, you want to do with here, it. Here, bro. But um, <laughs> what do you think, Law, about the Law question? Make it with the Vegapunk Devil Fruit. All right. Um, since it has to do, it's not really getting that body parts, but I feel like Law's ability can kind of manipulate almost anything. So I don't see why not. It would take skill on his part because it kind of seems that he could kind of, uh, for example, I thought it was dope back in when he was fighting Big Mom. He kind of took Cortezon's ability a little bit by yeah. even the silencing. Mm-hmm. So it's all it kind of maybe even linked to like maybe his imagination. So or his strength of his hockey or his skill, with his own ability. You could kind of do a lot of different things. So I want to see why why what Law wouldn't be able to do it as long as he puts uh, you know tries to do it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna say no just because. I'm tired of the law being broken, bro. Like, <laughs> tired of it. They called it the ultimate ability nah, in bro. One Piece. He, he got way too much going. They I mean, called it that. He broken. He got way too much going, bro. He, he has like, called it, bro. They what? called it the ultimate ability, the op-op fruit. Op, bro, it's ridiculous. Uh, but <laughs> we got another. Five from Anime Judgment Day. It says, quick hypothetical. If all the Straw Hats post Wano except Luffy and Jinbei, not Grand Fleet, were sent to the Paramount War, do you think Ace lives? Oof. So no Luffy, no Jinbei, because they were already there. So I guess the versions of Luffy and Jinbei that are there are still there. Like, I don't know. Wait, yeah. he's saying all the Straw Hats all except? The, except the Grand Fleet and except Luffy and Jinbei. Probably because they were there. With the Straw Hats now? <clears throat> straw Hats right now, post Wano. So like, post- Awaken Sanji, <laughs> Zoro with Kong, and Enma, et cetera. Like, Yo, I read the chat about that. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, bro. They you gotta pay attention, bro. Yeah, they said, hold on, hold on. They said Larry's head is bigger than Luffy going gear five punching Kaido. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good meme. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put my forehead on Luffy's fist. Bro. But you got you got to do like a. That don't... look like Luffy's dunking you. On Kaido. <laughs> <laughs> on Kaido. <laughs> but give Larry like a serious face, but like a goofy serious face, just like. <laughs> I like, have so many faces. Bro. <laughs> 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 Black Dynamite. <when> I do. <laughs> Put that, bro. Oh man. But honestly, for that question, yeah. Honestly, I, I mean, I feel that the reason I say yes, I feel like they would stunt more than what we saw the White Pride do. <laughs> I mean, I'd be hating on the White Pride. No, they Pride didn't stunt. So they didn't stunt during that war. Essentially, you would have somebody who could replace Marco and somebody who could replace Joe's at the minimal, right? Mm-hmm. Like. Zoro's gonna do more than Joe's doing, and, and Sanji can do, do what Mark was doing without handcuffs. So, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna start I'm gonna more, say, bro. I'm gonna say, yeah. You gonna have nah, no, no, nah. You gonna have Ace Usopp des- out here. Ace was destined. Bro. Yeah, Usopp taking out Usopp taking out those two guys. Go- you two ain't guards, just like, bring up Usopp, bro. We nah, Ace ain't Usopp living. would like shoot a key into the handcuff. <laughs> Yo, real talk, bro. Imagine, I'd body Alti in a headbutt contest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> our body. But <laughs> well, thank you so much, uh, Anime Judgment Day. I wouldn't even go gear for it, <laughs> bro. I gotta get this to the super <laughs> chats, bro. I'm just thinking about all the jokes. Oh now. man, <laughs> we got another five from Anthony Herrera. It says, "Hey guys, super excited for the episode. Let's pour one up for the TLPT gang. Garb smoking on that Kuzan pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, pack watch indeed. Uh, we got another five from Roberto Figueroa Figueredo. Yeah, yes. Figueredo." It says, I agree with everything, every with you every time. I'm on Twitter. OP scans keep showing up on my timeline trying to spoil me. Uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. We got another five from Antoine N. It says, can current Sanji and Usopp beat Hoodie and his 100,000 men if they were on Fishman Island alone? I'm going to say yeah. Wait, wait, wait. If, can the current Sanji? Current Sanji and Usopp together. Beat <laughs> all of Hordy's army? Yeah. Oh, and Hoodie. <laughs> and Hoodie, yeah, of course. Like, nope. Easy work. <laughs> Somebody said gear forehead. Gear forehead. That's funny. Oh, man. We got another five-month membership to Nakama <laughs> status from our guy, Lord Vegeta, a.k.a. Ragnar. It says, hey, no lie. Hidden been on that slimy-ish. I don't care. Um, guys, please try to refrain from the negativity towards yeah, any yeah, of the other yeah, YouTubers. Yeah, I probably won't yeah. read any of them off. Yeah, yeah. That, that wasn't the purpose what Larry was yeah. showing. Yeah, that that's, not, that's not it. We're not going to do that stuff. No. No, more, no more chats like that. Yeah. Uh, we got another eight-month membership to Yonko status from Ryunosuke. It says, I don't like when people say one thing and do another. 
What's his reason? You can hate something a person does, denounce it, and still support the good about that person. It's not a black yeah. and white. Thank you, Rianoske. There's corrective criticism, yeah. you know I'm saying, you know? We got I, was, a, I was a little harsh. He was a little, yeah, yeah. A little, a little hard. Bro. Yeah, I was a harsh. You got was, spoiled, bro. And I apologize about yeah. that. Okay. We got another two from Anton N. It says, nah, I like this Larry. A conqueror indeed. We got a lot of conqueror Larry in the chat earlier. I remember that. Obviously. Uh, we got another <laughs> 10 euros from the broker. It says, hi, guys. Thank you, Seb, for your kind words this week. I'll be trying to call in tonight with a choice of theories for you. One on Kobe, another on the Nika Fruit, and another one on Blackbeard and Egghead. Heart emoji. Thank you, Broker. Me and Broker got something cooking up. Just know that. Hey, pause. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know. It's pause. We got another five for Project Iceman. It says, hey, guys, Larry, I'm sorry. I thought you had bad takes. Then I saw the first DDT. Sebastian, Seb, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know what you're referencing. I don't remember the first DDT. I was probably wilding. I was probably wilding. I got to check back. Uh, we got another 10 from Marco F Michael Franco. It says, the thing about hatred, it's the place where people who can't look sorrow in the eyes without wavering run off to. Goto, berserk. Hashtag screw the haters. Goated. Thank you. Go to quote. Yeah. Go to quote. We got another five from James Hudson. It says, the most toxic thing about T.O.P.T. is how cute Seb is. Hashtag <laughs> T.O.P.T. on top. <laughs> hashtag Sims for Seb. Hashtag, hashtag Larry Spitting Facts. Thank you so much, James. <laughs> you cute, but you need some chapstick, bro. <laughs> you know what? Am I, am yes, bro, is, you I can see it up close, It's, bro. it's like that? It's like yeah, that right bro. now? You, you got, I, I'll put you the aqua for on. Don't lick your lips, bro. You're going to make me act up. <laughs> Get me activated. Hey, bruh. <laughs> oh, guys, we're going to get into the chapter, just yeah. so you know. Got to get through the super chats? Yeah, we'll get into the we're, chapter. we're just going to get through the super chats. Uh, we got another 10 from that Meet Me, a.k.a. King Ryan. What up, Ryan? <laughs> I wish I was here for that, bro. Yeah, bro. You was really a mother mode, bro. <laughs> you was. <laughs> anyway, appreciate you guys speaking the truth. Hashtag Gorosei video coming soon. Working on That's what I'm talking about, right? Hey. That's what Let's I'm talking go. about. Let's go. Everybody subscribe to that meet me. That's what we <laughs> That's what we encourage. All right? yes. That's yes. what we encourage. Yes. Do yes. your yes. thing, man. You young. You can do it now. Anyway. That yeah. didn't sound great. <laughs> I'm just saying, you got time. You got time, bro. People better not clip that. Come on. <laughs> Context matters. Come on, man. <laughs> we got another five from Captain Teriyaki. It says. Great chapter this week. Much love as always, guys, and keep up the great work. Love this community with a heart emoji. Hashtag that One Thank Piece you. talk. Hashtag broker theories. Yes, man. Hopefully you can call it today. We got another five from Andre Hancho. It says, there has to be a God because the wait is finally over. It sounds like Larry's Conqueror's goal is to stop spoilers, and I'm here for it. Hashtag <laughs> love over everything. Listen, <laughs> if we can get rid of him. It'd be a better place. Wait, he's trying yeah. to liberate people from spoilers. Yeah, like, no. Luffy's trying to liberate... I'll be in the spoilers world. deep, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> we got another two from JD McFly. It says, Larry's best take yet. Hashtag, Larry has good takes. Thank hey. you, guys. Uh, how's you, it still doing? You guys are actually being nice. <laughs> For once. <laughs> All right, we got another five from Procumbent. It says, do you think Garp knew about the true name of Luffy's fruit? And if... If he did, do you think he treated Luffy differently because of it? Hashtag Dugong Gang. That's new. Um, I'm going to say no and no. Yeah, same. No, yeah, no. Yeah. Same. And if he did know, Garp wouldn't treat Luffy any differently. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's Garp, Garp's character is to treat everybody however he feels like treating them in the moment. And that's his yeah. grandson? Whether that's your grandson. <laughs> he could be like, man, you my grandson. Shut up. You like, you a God? <laughs> <laughs> we would have got we more of that. still get these hands. We would have got more of that. Uh, we got another... Three, oh, 279 from Skylands. It says, this is that One Piece talk where we talk One Piece. I kind of do my best Larry impression. He does it better than I But thank you so much, Skylands. We got another 20R. I don't know what that is. From Paolo Diaz. It says, you guys have amazing content and very funny and unique way to talk about One Piece. It's like chatting with my friends about the anime manga. It's a great vibe to pass to your audience great work and love from Brazil. Thank you hey. so much. Yo, Brazilian women. Hey. 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 
<laughs> thank you. Thank I'm you. Rock. Appreciate that. I'm rock right now. <laughs> Come Come on, okay, right, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Okay, we got a five <laughs> from John Hill. It says, last month, Kylo got called Marine Snitch equals God Valley. One, maybe to Roger. Two, what's the chance Kaido plus old generation have an elderly fight with Emu? I think all the elderly people are going to probably get taken out. Yeah, I mean. We'll talk about it more in a chapter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll talk about it. We got another two from Nathaniel Rodriguez. It says, do we think Rayleigh is stronger than Garp? Um, no. Right now, no. I don't, no. Think, I don't think he ever no. actually was. People be forgetting. Rayleigh just went into hermit mode. Like, he didn't pick up a sword for years. Meanwhile, Garp is still out here punching, like. Yeah, bro. Things just even, to punch him. Even just, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm yeah, sorry, bro. bro. Yeah. yeah, it's over. Yeah, bro. Gar- Galaxy Fist, bro. Galaxy yeah. Impact. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, we got another two from Monkey Dib. It says, "Love the content. Garp is Popeye. Luffy is Popeye." Technically, I get it though. Yeah, I get it. Why you look at me like that? I know I was thinking, are you them? Pop- I feel like they're both. Popeye well, Garp's more. a sailor. They call the Marine sailors or whatever. Yeah. So I get it. Honestly, with the forearms, it's Frankie who's Popeye. It was when yeah. we first saw him, uh, when we first saw him, that was Popeye. <laughs> we got another five from General of the 30th. Uh, shout to 30, man. It says, Shanks is a snitch. <laughs> 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 that was five month membership to Nakama status. I'm sorry, you, 30. Thank you. Oh, man. Damn, Shanks catching strays. <laughs> we got another 12 month, two month membership to Nakama from Anthony. It says Larry's head is inspiration for Lucky Rude's body type. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, yeah, it bro. Is, bro. Damn. It oh, is. man. We got another five from Andre Hancho. It says, wanted to know y'all opinion on this. I believe everybody is on fraud watch until I witness them both give and take a hit. I don't care who they are. Hashtag nobody is safe. No, nah, you can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. Sebastian definitely can't do it. I can't, I, can't, I can't go there, bro. I can't go there. I don't support Fraud Watch as much as Larry does. I have a different watch that I'll bring up later. All right. We have another five from alex 2 op It says, yo, first time watching live. I'm at work right now and love listening to y'all while I'm working. Well, thank you for being here. Like the stream. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. Like the stream. Uh, we got another seven from Kevin David. It says, <laughs> how do you guys feel if Emu's power was the improvised, improved version of Sugar's OP OP? <laughs> improved how? Like, I, they would just be fancier <laughs> toys? I don't know what the... Dude, I wouldn't like it. Somebody said my forehead is the one piece, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'd like the sugar thing, bro. Uh, we, oh, we my all. God, bro. We got another 50 from Andrew No Jam. It says, first time catching live. Thank can't, you. Can't stay the whole show, but love the show. Does having Zeus still with Nami prove Big Mom is still alive? Doesn't death end or getting knocked out constant, consistently chan- cancel Devil Fruit abilities? Uh, struggle though. No, because of Bowen Hancock. Yes. So yeah, we got pr- basically proof that you can pass, and your Devil Fruit abilities would still like linger or affect people. Yeah. Depending on the fruit. Yeah. Or to be playing fast fruit. and loose with that. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll acknowledge yeah. that. Like, like, your, your question isn't not valid. Or to be fast and loose with that. Yeah. yeah. So I will say this: if Magellan poisons somebody, he just passed like, like he, within an hour. Not, the poison not, is still gonna yeah. be there. Yeah. Imagine yeah. just like, oh, yeah, I'm good now. It's like, nah, bro. You're, yeah. not, you're not good. It's yeah. some abilities and some no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. We got another uh, 10 from Eat Dirt. <laughs> it says, you you know you've made it when the drama and hate start following. Love y'all and everything y'all do. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. you not eating dirt, bro. <laughs> uh, we got another five from Kirby. And if you are, clean yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like dirty D. Dirty D. <laughs> <Dirty deep. laughs> when, when you brought the dirt bowl in Yo, the jail. Into the jail? Yeah, he's, Yo, like, he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all haven't seen Pootie Tang, it's a national treasure, bro. Don't waste your time watching nah, it, bro. Nah, it's funny. It. Dude, what you mean? Bro. You watch that grown, it's going to be like, what am I watching? <laughs> but it is funny, though. There's, but it's, no, it's age stupid limit. Funny. There's no age limit on Pootie Tang. It's stupid it. funny. Yeah, it is funny, though. There's no age limit You're going to feel like bro. you wasted an hour of your life. Yeah. It's two hours. <laughs> <laughs> We got another five from Kirby Cabe. It says, found you guys on TikTok. Loving it ever since. Finally made alive. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So do you think Kid and Blackbeard, only Blackbeard, could beat Big Mom? You know I do. Wait, wait. Kid and Blackbeard. Well, Blackbeard definitely can't beat Big Mom. Oh, oh, hold on. Are you saying solo or them together? So do you think Kid and Blackbeard could beat Big Mom? Yeah. 
I would still say no. I'm saying yeah. Kid and Blackbeard. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. I'm saying, I'm saying no. Kid and Blackbeard, Big Mom? Yeah. If My bad, Mark. If Law and Kid were able to do it, and you're just switching out no, Law and Blackbeard. No, he ain't saying ring him out. He ain't saying ring out. You gotta, oh, gotta win. Sure. You gotta win, bro. You gotta I, straight up. By any means necessary, you gotta pull him down. You gotta straight up win. Is it off panel? He's <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> Wait, Kato got no off panel dub. Yo, does well, Blackbeard, he? Blackbeard taking anything off panel. You feel me? Um, I got, I got, I, I got. Too. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Blackbeard kid too. Kid might not make it though. He don't got law protecting him. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Blackbeard might dip. Yo, he gonna <laughs> sacrifice kid. <laughs> he he gonna sacrifice kid. Y'all, y'all just saying how much they wouldn't win. But they, they, I said <laughs> they win. They win in period. That's all I heard. They, they win in period. Kid may, kid may fall, but they gonna win. Kid get, kid oh, losing. Kid, kid, kid finding that a way to kid lose. May fall. Kid, kid find a way to lose. He gonna get his, his fruit farmed or something. Yeah. But during battle, yo, Big Mar, hold up. <laughs> Imagine anyway. Uh, we got another five from Dylan Punanto. Panu- Panuto. It's okay, bro. I'm sorry. I can't read, bro. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> it's just an emoji saying "haya." <laughs> <laughs> what it is that? Uh, but thank you so much. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, we got another five from that meet me. It says <laughs> you guys got me blushing. <laughs> Yeah, you better not be taking your mom's credit card. Yeah, bro. bro. Like, how you afford yo, these donations, yeah, bro? Yeah, bro. Where, where is this money coming from? Yo, you we, ain't even got a YouTube yet, man. What's going on, bro? Yo, where is this a, money, bro? Maybe you're hustling. Yeah, know. he hustling I'm like sour what? heads. <laughs> he grinding the cafeteria. Yeah. Hey, hey, recess. Hey, man, I can get you a slice. He get, <laughs> he's selling gum for like a dollar, a stick. It's you like, know, where'd you get this cookie from? Yeah. I know from experience, don't be stealing from the lunch ladies. They don't like that. <laughs> we got another five from PMB Captain. It says, "Love you guys. Continue to be a blessing for others. Keep doing what you do. Thank Aww, you so much. Thank you for that. We got yeah. another fifty from Andrew Noljaim. It says, "This one just to show love. Keep hey, it up. Thank yo, you, Andrew. Thank you, bro. Thank you Can we so throw some much, dummies man. in the chat dummies for the all chat. these super chats, man? Seriously. You gonna make me wipe my eyes again, man? <laughs> we got another five from Abraham Adis. It says." Yo, love the podcast. Who do y'all say is top three in One Piece? Trying to settle a debate with my boy. Top, top three? three? Top three, top three. Like, um, like all easy, time or alive? I'm assuming he's alive. Easy answer is Roger Rock's white beard. That's easy. I don't answer. know if he means all time or alive. Oh. Oh, that's true. It's Rock's, baby. <laughs> Roger, top one. Yeah, he is. Is, 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 is Rock's, Roger, <laughs> white beard. It's... Definitely, that's Roger. That's fine. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's easy, yeah, easy, easy way to take uh, it. But what about right now? Now, alive? that was harder. Yeah. Alive? I think. He, I think he means right now. Right now? Yeah. Like a lot. Shanks top one. Yeah. Well, a lot like well, I I have Shanks right now top uh top two, and he's two. Wait, I have Kaido number one. I don't think he count Kaido. He's still alive. He ain't considered <laughs> oh, dead. No. Yeah, it's Kaido. Uh, I would say. Big Mom, and then Kaido, Shanks, Big Mom. If she's, if they're both still alive. If we're counting Big Mom and, and Kaido as still alive, I'm going to go Shanks, Kaido, Akaino. <laughs> How you going to add Big Mom and not include her? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I was confused. I didn't mean it like that. You said, if we go with Big Mom meant, and Kaido still alive. I just meant that they're still alive. Not that like she was about to be included. Yeah. Y'all, y'all know how I... Whatever. Whatever. I'm gonna go same order except I'm gonna go big mom over a, a kind of. Right. 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 <laughs> we got another uh Yonko status membership from Curvy Cave. Shout out to Curvy. Uh, enjoy this all the emojis. Is a certified hood classic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marv. <laughs> Yo, Marv. <laughs> Yo, Marv really laughing right now. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but enjoy all the emojis that come with being a Yonko. Uh, we did get another two from that meet me. It says jokes for a dollar on the streets of LA work. <laughs> I hope you're not working the streets of LA, bro. What? Go yeah. home. You said yeah. jokes for a dollar? <laughs> you want your Sabo grind, Yo, bro. bro. You got somebody that cares somebody about you. Somebody cares bro. about you. <laughs> Hey. Oh man, we got another five from Derek Clarence. It says, "Do you think Sanji would ever get 
conquers hockey. I think we've gone over this a few times on the on the pod. I think yeah. it's, I think the avenue is there. I don't know if they actually get it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe wouldn't... you have to be born with it, but if, if you are can awaken it, Sanji is a prospect. If he didn't have it, or if he did, I don't think it would matter at this point. I don't think it changes much about yeah, the character it doesn't at this change. point. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got another 10 gifted memberships from Pig Hudson. James, thank oh you so God. much. Thank He's so you, generous, Pig. man. Thank Everybody you, receiving these memberships in chat W's thank from you, Pig. Thank you, Pig. Seriously. Appreciate you, bro. Oh, oh man. man. We got another two from Nate, Nathaniel Rodriguez. Marine Fort Whitebeard versus Hachi Noso Garb. Hachi Noso Garb. Yeah. He just, he's not sick. Uh, he's not sick, bro. That's true. I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say Garb. He's I think, sick, I think we'll talk about it in the chapter, but a lot of people are doing this right now. So yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. it's Garb. We got another uh, membership to Nakama status from Buddy R. <laughs> TC, thank you so much. Enjoy all the mem- emojis that come with being a yes. member. Thank you. We got another five from Kid Kimio. It says, shout out to Marv behind the scenes. We appreciate you, bro. Marv, you get a lot. Yeah, Marv. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Go ahead, Marv. Yeah. Right, He's man. smiling, y'all. Marv took his shirt off, man. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. He got, he got his whole thing on the, on the window right now. <laughs> I don't know why he's wearing cheap print. Hey, Marv, 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 chill. You got uh, your underwear <laughs> And finally, we got another membership to Yonko status from Young S. Thank you so much. Enjoy all the emojis yes, that come with you. being a Yonko. That's all for the Super Chats. All right. So we could... Oh, act, we just got one more. We got more. one more <laughs> from that VB. $2 it says, the tips be big if you work in the right area. I don't, <laughs> Dan, I don't have Dan, words for that, bro. Dan, what? I don't have words for one that. Pause. One pause. Pause. <laughs> that, was, that was a pause moment. That was an A. We can't say pause to meet me, bro. He's too young. You feel me? He ain't too young to donate. <laughs> he gonna get the pause now. Oh man. Yo, we got a five from Bosch DMC. Shout Mosh, out to Bosch. Bosh the boy. Hey. Mosh, the boy. It says, hey, I miss the gang. Need to be back up soon. Keep up the vibes, brothers. We miss you, Mosh. Hey, yeah, Mosh. We miss you, bro. Real All love. Right. You the boy. Uh or man, I should say man. Okay, Lawrence. So <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> So again, um, Everybody, if you want the drama part of the episode, <laughs> send that to Marv. Send that to Marv. Text Marv that. Text Marv that. Oh, my God. So he can put it on screen. Yo, oh, my God, bro. I'm dead. That's perfect because it's a net. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. So we're going we're gonna to show a meme that so somebody good. made, and Marv's going to put it on so screen if good, he can. Bro. Uh, again, if you wanted the drama portion of this uh, stream, please go to the beginning of the stream. We talked about it for like half an hour. Um, but all the, also, everybody, if you can, like the stream if possible. Thank you so much. If you haven't joined our Discord, please join the Discord. It is amazing. Believe me, it's probably the most caring environment you've ever been a part of. Guarantee it. Except Sebastian's there, so you're probably not going to like it too much. So <laughs> I'll be wild. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Marv, whenever you get that picture, you can show it. <laughs> we did get another $2 super chat from Dylan Punanto. It says, OP on Shanks or Roger cloned into God's Knights. No. No. Nah. That would be crazy. Though. I'm not yeah. trying to see clones like that. I think there's uh, room for one clone. <laughs> oh, Marv's pulling up the picture now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Yo, bro. This is perfect. It's though. perfect because it's, it's a nail. Cause, bro. Yeah, because it's oh, a nail. A nail going to Moon Larry. You oh, know? My <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you for becoming yeah. a Yonko Jeffrey <laughs> <laughs> Marshall. Enjoy. Oh my god. Man. Yeah, this is funny. Oh, All right. Get, yo, Marv, you had it long enough. <laughs> Yo, you put it in the corner? No, you made it full screen. You kept it there for like 10 seconds. Yo, you can put it in the corner. Oh my gosh. You guys are hilarious. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into the chapter, guys. So, I was very busy. I couldn't make the questions. So, I'm going to freestyle some of these guys, okay? Uh, I only did write one. So, let's jump into the cover story. It's a reader request, and it's captioned, uh, a capybara... Enjoying a bath over a fire started by Ace. Did you guys have any thoughts about this? And we can start with Lawrence. Um, not much really. It's just um, super. Oh, these requests be super random to me. Like uh, I'm like, what? What made you want to see this mm-hmm. for the request? <laughs> but it just made me think of. Did we ever get like? Uh, did it mean anything? Like the the two faces on Ace's hat. One was fr- frowning and one was smiling. Like that one? Did those ever, ever get like that actually meant something or not? I thought that they meant tragedy. 
comedy yeah. and tragedy, and like yeah. it was supposed to represent <clears throat> Ace's eventual passing. But that's maybe that's the like literary nerd in me. Yeah, but no, it could be that. that yeah, yeah, that's what I thought it, it could be that. Okay, yeah, but not much really. But I just like the how he's like legit. The one is smiling, and one's like by the smoke of a cigar in his bath. Yeah, it was just f- super random and kind of funny. Yeah, I didn't have much on this one. Um, it's always good to see Ace. I know y'all know me. I'm a huge supporter of what happened to him. Uh, as negative as that sounds, I just think it was a great. <laughs> no he's, he's lying. It's a great. Believe li- me. Listen, it's a great. <laughs> and it comes it to was my- a great literary decision that Oda made. When it comes to my turn, I'll tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> you hate it. I did love it because it gave me more uh, more visuals to use. But yeah, yeah. I'll get it. Uh, you know, that's for another day. <laughs> also, I don't know if there's like a, a a pun here. There probably is. I'm mm-hmm. just I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. That's it. All right. Where Peter at, bro? <laughs> Where Peter at, bro? <laughs> he gave this animal Yo. a cigar and lit it up, and now he's smoking, bro. Yo. That's Peter. Let him rock, for sure, bro. right? Yeah, I need somebody to call out. <laughs> um, just seeing this, I don't know if it's pronounced like capybara or I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know what the way correct way is, but. The one at the bottom left, he has like toiletry <laughs> going on. <laughs> <laughs> Scrub it down, bro. Bro, I've never seen toiletry until I, I lived with these guys. Because cause Lawrence had the toiletry, the black one that was leather. Keep everything. It was like a bathroom purse, bro. I upgraded, bro. Yo, my I don't satchel, even know what that means. Like, Lawrence had, would have like a full satchel, bro. With yeah. Like just... So I thought of Lawrence when I saw this. Um, I make the one on the top line. You can't leave your stuff in the bathroom. Man. Yeah. You can take it with you. So, I love seeing Ace, bro. Yeah. I, I do. I wish he was more in a story. Also, Sebastian does not like the fact that Ace has Yo, passed. Yo, stop it, bro. Because stop it. Stop he's stop currently it, stop it, stop it. making an Ace piece uh, <laughs> fan, fi- fan fiction right That's now. That's for y'all. He was sending me pictures and everything while I was on vacay. <laughs> and you loved it. I was like, Yo. <laughs> Stop, bro. You don't make me drop One Piece. <laughs> Ace Piece went hard, but it's not better than what we got. Yeah. It's because I love One Piece. Mm-hmm. But uh, Ace, uh, Ace Piece. But anyway, it, I don't know exactly what's being said in this chapter. Like, mm-hmm. I usually have something, but I didn't have time to sit and think about it because I just read the chapter yesterday, and plus I was dealing with all the other stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, I wish I had something interesting to say, but I don't. Mm-hmm. All right. This title is chaptered, uh, well, it's chapter 1087. And it's titled uh, Battle Bags. Uh, not Saddle Bags. <laughs> <laughs> so we go to this shipyard, uh, ship graveyard near Naval Base G1. And I forgot this guy's name. Brand new. Brand new. There you go. <laughs> uh, we go to Brand new and we see that there's a bunch of Marine ships, battleships. Um, they were used as like punching bags. And people are like, yo, who would do such a thing in this scrapyard? And then uh, Brand New is like, yo, a much younger Admiral Garp, uh, Vice Admiral Garp, in fact, it was a daily practice that he used to do for like decades. And then uh, they were like, what? He still d- does it? And then uh, Brand New was like, the rule of battleship bags is that you can't use hockey or powers. The strength of those heroes wasn't gifted at birth, which is pretty interesting. Then we go to Pirate Island, full of lead, and we see uh, San Juan. Uh, get tossed into the water <laughs> uh, because Van Auger couldn't save him, right? So, um, he's not there. Oh, I know. Yeah. I know, it's a joke. So he sinks to the bottom, and then the pirates on Pir- uh, Full of Letter are like, Yo, we need to go save San Juan, bro. He's not going to be able to get out of there. He's going to drown. And then we see Vasco shot, and he's drinking, and he's spitting fire um, at Garp. So Garp just takes two dudes randomly, like two guys. He puts it in front of the fire, and he just starts chucking people. <laughs> Bro, I love that. That was so. Epic. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was so crazy. So, you see uh, Pizarro Avalo uh, in the back, and he's just like, "Yo, shocked that he's like throwing people on fire <laughs> to use as like weapons," and they're like, "Yo, this dude is crazy. This dude is literally crazy." And then uh, we see somebody on Garp's ship. And they're reporting that uh, all the captains and sailors, including the injured, are off the island. And that was from, uh, what's this chick's name again? Sudo? No. Sudo's grandchild. I don't remember her name, but... I forgot her name. Yeah. But she's the one reporting this. Mm-hmm. And then Garp is like, yo, we got to get out of here. 
right? To Kobe, Helmepo, and to Gruz. And then all of a sudden, Aokiji is bloodied up. And he's like, yo, I can't let you leave yet, Garp. And then Her name is Kujaku. Kujaku. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. So then Garp goes, yo, you guys make a run for it. I'm going to stay here and protect you, and then I'll just come onto the ship afterwards. And then all of a sudden, we hear pirates that are Black Bear pirates yell out for help. Kobe goes, oh, snap, I have to like just go help those people, even though I didn't see them yet. And he goes to do so. But while he's doing it, Gruss is like, yo, you're a fool. Look out. And then all of a sudden, Garp jumps in front and protects Kobe from getting stabbed by... Um, Shiryu. Shiryu. You're getting all the names today. I am, bro. You remember Gruss, though. I did. <laughs> so then Garp gets, you know, stabbed straight through the chest. Uh, and then he just punches... Um, what's this guy's name? Bro. Shiryu. He just Shiryu. said you. <laughs> he punches this guy Shiryu oh, oh into God. the floor. And he's super hurt. Uh, and then I guess we'll leave it at... Kobe can't believe that it was his fault. Gruss is, like, shocked by it. And then they announced that Garp has the same bounty uh, from the Cross Guild as a actual admiral. And then we see Aokiji just rush towards him to mm -hmm. basically finish him off. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think about the beginning of this chapter? All right, so I'll go first. I thought it was amazing, right? I thought I I loved every bit of this whole exchange. One, starting it off with the the battleship bags. Yeah. I just and we'll get deeper into that later. But just the the fact that they were out here training this way. No hockeys, no devil fruit. Just punch a, a battleship with your bare knuckle and see how how strong you are, like how far you can go. I thought it was dope. It's like interesting training because we always wonder, like, how do they get this strong, right? Like, it's not just hockey training. It's not just hockey training. It's not, oh, I ate the devil fruit. It's like, yo, I'm an admiral because it's not just Garp. It's Aokiji. I'm an admiral. I'm probably awakened. I'm a hockey master and all that. But I need to be physically strong enough to really deal with the pressures of being that. Fighting elite pirates, fighting for the, 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 the government, for the Marines. So I thought that was fire. And just the, the, the speech, like the strength had to be earned. It wasn't innate, which is something I always knock Big Mom and Kaido for. Like, <laughs> you know, they were basically born monsters. It's like, nah, Garp wasn't born a monster. He was a regular dude with probably some innate talent, but he honed his skills to get to this point. And I love that that was also the case for Aokiji, too. So We didn't even get to that point yet, bro. He, he, meant, he meant both of them. He said both of them, though. Did he? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He said oh, Aokiji and The anyway. second one, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, the, the strength of those heroes was, you know, they had to earn it. So. Uh, Law? You're not going to go any Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad. My bad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My fault. My fault. My fault. Oh, yeah. Yo, him tossing Sawal Wolf into the ocean was hilarious Yo. to me, bro. <laughs> I, I assume it was an uppercut for whatever. Yeah, I was thinking yeah, the same thing. I was like, uh. well, he has, <laughs> he has, he has, he has a knot on his forehead. He does, yeah. so it's probably not. But like, <laughs> I like the thing he uppercut at him. The him grabbing the the dudes and blocking the Yo. the Vasco shot one. And he starts tw twirling the people around. Like Garp is a monster, bro. And that that face he makes. Like everybody's so worried at his pirate island. So I like the the dynamics of it. Like the islands talking and his. Thousands of pirates just running around, and Garp is like just thugging and fighting people and doing all this stuff. Like it's it's chaos, right? I don't know if y'all peep, but my boy Bogart in there, bro. Yes. He in oh, the chapter, shoot. bro. Y'all see him? I don't care. <laughs> but notice where he is. <laughs> Shut up, Lawrence. Shut up, bro. Shut up. I'm sorry. Bogart here, man. Bogart season it coming, man. I don't care. <laughs> it's only took eighteen hundreds or whatever it is. Um, I feel bad for 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 Gruss because he clearly is secure. <laughs> Yo, yeah, that had me dying. I'm the future of the Marines too, yeah, right? right? <laughs> Come on, bro. You gotta do better. Shout out to uh, Helmepo. I think I said it right this time. Helmepo, yeah, yeah. For for still being there. Yeah. You feel me? He ain't on the ship. He's still there with Kobe. He he was urging for them to bring people to the to the to Beehive to fight an Adam to a Yonko mm -hmm. to save his man's. They got the people out. They got here. He's still there in the pocket. So shout out to the envelope. Mm -hmm. Kobe, no words for you, bro. <laughs> no words. Because come on, man. Come on, bro. You got observation hockey. Gruss knew. Gruss, whatever he says, he knew. Yeah. Garp knew. Yeah. Humpelo wasn't, you know, Future of the, the person they stuff. targeted <laughs> for this. I love how you said it right and then you just said it wrong. Hum Humpelo. My bad. My bad. But... I have no words, but at the same time, thank you. Because y'all know me. 
Larry champions fraud watch. Mm -hmm. That's his thing. Yeah. And I, I love that for him. But I champion pack watch. <laughs> and we about to be smoking on that Garp pack, bro. <laughs> All right? It's pack watch season. And I love Garp. I love me some Garp. I've defended Garp dozens of times on this podcast. But y'all know how I feel. We're yeah. in the final saga. Mm -hmm. It's time to start packing some of these dudes up. And he's two generations deep in being here for too dang long. So, shout out to Shiryu for putting in that work. Grimy as it might be. Did yeah. what he had to do. But I'm trying to see Pack Watch, man. I am. <clears throat> I just am. It's three ads, Pam. And uh, I love the little parallel between Garp and Luffy at the end with the whole three crowns. It's roughly three billion berries. Yeah. Luffy has three billion berries right now on his head. And shout out to Kuzan. I love seeing Kuzan always. But that's it. Um, good. So, uh, for me, what happened? Oh, long. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. I went for Mad Long. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to say it. My bad. No, you're good, I'm you're good. everywhere right now, There's, bro. Is a, it was a pause because first match uh, was going. But yeah, honestly, I liked it going back to the, um, the battleship bags, right? Because I always broke this down, and I like... That there's levels to this where yeah there's there's hockey right but the fact that they focused on hitting these things without powers or ability right because we think what a battleship is battleships are designed for war for battle it's in the name right they're designed to take cannonballs ships crashing into each other they're designed to be able to take all that and continue fighting so the durability so the material they're made of hence why blackbeard himself wanted a battleship he keeps kind of going for one he kept trying to make a trade for it because he sees the value of how strong a marine battleship is to, against other ships, right? Taking on cannons and ships riding, they're designed to fight. And now you have someone who's punching them with their bare hands, breaking it down to the battle. You can see that the increase, the strength is going to add to it. But also, what I want to focus on is the, the hard is going to make your fist, right? Because we think of hockey, we think of hockey hardening. Again, it's in the name, right? But focusing on the hardening part. In Death Rosa during the Coliseum, we saw someone be attacked, right? But they had a strong body, and someone used hockey to attack them, and the hockey sword that we used to attack broke on this person's body. And that person didn't use hockey, hardening, or any hockey at all to block it. His body was just that hard and durable enough to break through that person's hockey, right? So the reason I bring this up is because I remember John Chin Zhao said normally his head is the hardest substance on Earth. Yeah, it's a false claim because... We saw otherwise, but what we saw, the damage they're able to do with just without hockey at all, but he's able to just split stadiums, split the ground, even like, I don't know if it's a continent splitter, but like just for his ice, but just off his head. Now he adds hockey to that, making this like this ultimate weapon in his eyes, right? Then we hear of Garp. What, he, what does he do to train that? He's already punching, uh, you know, battleship bags, but to get it even further, he starts punching away mountains, right? For Don Janelle's head. Increasing the density, the hardness of his fists, right? So it shows that if something's, if your hockey's not harder or greater, greater than what you're hitting, it can lose out to it. So it goes in that you could increase your hockey, but not only the physical of it, like normally what Garp was doing here, but also you can strengthen your your normal fist, but also the strength of your hockey by training it by hitting it something hard, like over and over, like Garp did. So we see there's levels to it where that's I just appreciate it because showing that you could even raise your you could raise your fist level higher than by adding hockey to it by getting that higher and then even hockey harder and even that higher than also even Rio. So you could have a crazy powerful punch by doing these steps with Garp is showing here. What we saw, Galaxy Punch. You know? So I just want to throw that information in there. And uh again, the Wansai Wolf getting tossed by Garp. <laughs> I loved it so much because this dude is the biggest thing. Like, like you know what I'm saying? How like, yo he he hit him, him off the island, bro. Like, like you know how hard you gotta hit. And yeah. We already saw how, how he was conversing the island. So to me, with all this going on, it made me think of like how Garp's kind of like sort of like in his element right here. We see him; he kind of does this a lot later. Yeah, he had help, but like it makes you think of um, God Valley, you know. But this time, you you don't really have the backup you do with uh, with Gold Roger. You're by yourself because let's be honest, Kobe and Hanablo and Gruss they're not going to be the best supporters in this situation because you're fighting a Yonko crew plus all those... Don't disrespect Gross like that. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but I, I just love it. And also how Garb just responds to it because I like... He legit, on the spot, when he put them in here, he's just like, hmm, pirate fireballs. Like, you know, like, he just came <laughs> up it right here. It was Because you see a pause and he's just looking at them. 
The Eagles have. Very, <laughs> very Luffy-esque. Exactly, very yeah. Luffy -esque. Very go with the flow and it's responded. But you see how, how strong he is? He's like legit. Where, um, what's her name? Ray Leaf's wife said it. Like Garth, Shaki. Yeah, Shaki. He's a legit terror to pirates. And we see why. Because he has no love for pirates. You're an enemy. And he just, he's so strong. He just does what he wants and just takes you guys out. And use what he does to me to win. You think he's a Marine that he wouldn't do that? He's like, nah, you're pirates. I don't care about y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Get burned by this fire and I'm going to toss you afterwards, right? And then um, Sebastian already mentioned about the, the Gruss mentioning about the uh, future of the Marines too. But honestly, he the fact that he was able to notice it and that what happened and Kobe did not. It's like like rookie mistake. You hate to see it. You know what I'm saying? Because like that's all I'm thinking. Like Greenhorn Kobe. Because as soon as I saw it, I immediately knew what was going on here. Yeah. Immediately. Then Kobe, I was like, oh, now I see. Now I see. I already saw what was gonna happen before I even got that panel. As soon as I saw that, Kobe's gonna react, and I already can guess what's gonna happen to Garp. This is how they're gonna play it out. Mm -hmm. You saw it coming. Then Kobe Greenhorn, like observation hockey. You're sensing none of that matter. You just kind of jumped right in there, and then. But also, this is what I was thinking is making into like a mini argument with us. <laughs> Doesn't this kind of put the perspective of Ace and Luffy? Because Garp jumped in front of uh, Kobe, Ace jumped in front of uh, Luffy, right? And they both got punched, punched through, you know? Yeah. So it kind of kind of being perspective because we have this ultimate hero, Garp, right, going in, going on against all these odds. When you also have someone fighting against his odds with Akainu and Ace. So to me, it puts into perspective here of what Ace kind of went through, protecting someone weaker than you and while you're fighting at a disadvantage. But it's also Garp. And I think that's as far as we got. Um, and Kuros, uh, I'm surprised he didn't. He must have been weakened why Garp didn't do hockey hardening with this punch. Because mm. I was a little upset that Shuri was still awake. Bro, you know, he but was then, hurt though. Yeah, he was hurt though. He was, <laughs> but he didn't. He didn't get the the crazy umps that we saw later yeah. on. It wasn't Garp's full. I mean, you still got, you, did he no, still have the, the blade in him? Yeah, he still had the blade yeah, in him. Yeah, exactly, throw exactly. It. Yeah, I so. know, I know. But, yeah, uh, what you got there? Um, yo, Sev, I think we might have taken an L, bro. Where? What you mean? Huh? So, you know how, like, we were both in agreement that, like, the Roku Shiki techniques wasn't, like, they were hockey? Yeah. I think this kind of proves Lawrence <laughs> right, bro. <laughs> All right, so for anybody that doesn't know... Shut up. We, me and me and Sebastian were in very heavy agreement that the Rokushiki techniques were just hockey related. This chapter kind of kills that. Chill out, bro. Yo, Lawrence might have just taken the biggest W probably for the past what <laughs> eight, ten years, nine what? years. What? This is no. He's saying that this argument has existed for oh, like ten yeah, years, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this isn't proven, Larry. It's not I'm, proven, but I'm like, bro, toes, it's kind of likely, bro. <laughs> but I, I think Garp has been crazy. You know, when we first were introduced to Mihawk, he was cutting ships in half. That was like the big thing. That's what Zoro did post time skip to show that he was almost, you know, to that level. Mm -hmm. Garp's been just doing it without hockey. <laughs> 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 yeah, when I think about it, I'm like, bro. And it's kind of crazy because. Now we have to take into perspective. We saw Whitebeard stop the Moby Dick from moving with one hand. Yeah. While standing straight up, <laughs> no knees bent. And I'm like, yeah. okay, so who physically was stronger, Garp or Whitebeard? And I think that's such a great question, question to have in your head. And I know people are going to like power scale and stuff. But to me, I'm like, I, I wonder who can lift more. Like I wonder who can like, <laughs> like who, bench press. Yeah, like, like, like who's stronger? Who's yeah, really the world's strongest man? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, I thought that San Wolf was probably going to be what, one of the most devastating members of the White Bear Pirates until that. <laughs> yeah, legit. It was like, yo, we bro, can't get him out of the water. Yo, bro, how are we gonna get him out? Yeah, yo, legitimate. He's too big to get out. One <laughs> and two. I was like, yo, besides him and uh, uh. Pavalo, I think that's his name. Pavalo, I was like, yo, I don't know who's more dangerous in this aspect. I was like, because these two crew members are probably the sh strongest out of them so far. Mm -hmm. If they have what they can do, but now it's like, yo, he can just easily get tossed. Yeah, it's, like, get tough. <laughs> it's looking tough for him. Yeah. Uh, what do you think Garp's PR is, bro? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think I'm most definitely disappointed in uh, Vasco Shop. I thought he was gonna do something. A little bit more interesting instead of just like a fireball. 
I thought he would be able to do something like kind of crazy he with drunk. alcohol. He drunk, bro. He trying not to get close, man. <laughs> yeah, he, he saw yeah. what happened once. He, he, he did. Like, <laughs> he's like, he said, "Oh nah, oh, <laughs> I'm just taking a couple I'm steps." I'm gonna spit back. fire. Bro. I'm gonna spam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start spam. spamming. Start, start hitting spamming. that X button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I think I think Garb is everything that we thought he was. Um, it's it very it was very reminiscent of just black. Oh. Uh, I said Blackbeard. Whitebeard at Marine Ford. Yeah. Squardo stabbed him in his stomach. He still showed love. Um, you know, uh, telling after he got punched in the chest by a Kainu, yo, dip out of here. Ace is rescued. Same thing with Kobe. Mm-hmm. Um, I think everybody saw that. What made me feel a little disappointed was that we didn't get to see more of the fight between Aokiji and Garp. Yeah. I know that's going to be saved for the anime, but I think I would have liked to see why Aokiji is so damaged and also why Garp is so tired because I know that he's been fighting basically the the Blackbeard pirates themselves and Mm -hmm. Aokiji I do think that Aokiji is stronger than Blackbeard in my opinion right and I think there's a valid argument for that now yeah but fighting Aokiji fighting Vasco shot wondering where Shiryu is uh fighting San Juan and then worrying about Pizarro possibly crushing you guys I was saying to myself, this guy is literally fighting a Yonko and his crew members while everybody else is fighting the bottom feeders of that crew. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And they're outnumbered. Yeah. So I was like, yo, Garp is being that guy. And they were rescuing people. And they were like, rescuing it's, people. It's crazy. Yeah. So, and it's, it's very interesting because Kobe does seem a little bit like Deku. For my hero academia even you. more i'm trying <laughs> yeah. to tell y'all bro because the, the 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 hero syndrome can be very positive as a morality aspect but then it can be very negative towards the people you're with you directly put other people in danger because you're trying to save one person mm-hmm. that's a red flag for his character i'm not gonna knock him for not using observation at that point kobe has exhibited like uh, extensive amount of energy throughout this yeah. whole ordeal. Yeah, he's been fighting for a good minute. That is yeah, true. and the and the thing is too, he's we're not. Gonna, I'm hearing that from y'all. Wait, wait, we're not saying. I, I don't think he's stronger than Momonga, so I'm gonna expect that he's probably like at a level that's not gonna be top tier end game series yeah, levels. Yeah, no, yeah. I got you. so I think that I'm not disappointed with Kobe. I'm just saying, yeah, he's doing Kobe things. Mm-hmm. And he, what what is he? What is his rank? I don't even... He's a, he's a captain. He's a captain, yeah. He's a captain. Like, yeah, he's a captain. Yeah. Yeah. How many captains out here fighting Yako Cruz for real, bro? Like, you know what I mean? I'll yeah. say this, too. I think Garp definitely used observation in order to detect that Shiryu was going to stab Kobe, which is amazing, right? Like, that's how he got there. This brings up the Zoro fight for me and how Shiryu's ability might not even matter at all when they fight. I truly believe that. Like, if you're able to sense him with observation... yeah. It's What's the over. Point? What's it's the point over, yeah. bro. So, it's over. So, let me ask you this, right? Because I don't think you can send someone shit up observation. I think Garp used future sight, but he knew, like, there's nothing I can do to stop that future. Kobe's still going to do that. You know what I mean? Unless I, like, knock Kobe out or something. You get me? Like, and it's in the moment. Like, I still think you can't just use basic observation to tell where Shiryu is going to be. Maybe I'm tripping. But that's, what? that only works if, for example... He turns invisible, but it's not just his body. It turns your existence invisible. Mm-hmm. Or, Maybe that's you know, the awakened. It hides version. your presence. Yeah. That's where I have to go. The awakened version of that fruit. What does yeah. that mean for him? So, I mean, Garp was able to still sense it to yeah. a degree and mm-hmm. counteract what was going to happen. Yeah. And I get it. It probably was always meant to happen, so he just did it anyway. But he still had to make that move and decide, yo, do I want to get stabbed by this or not? Mm-hmm. And I think that's where it's going to come into play, where is how, how tricky is observation? And it, I think Zoro would be able to defeat Shiryu pretty easily at this point, in my opinion. Um, and then we get to the three billion, uh, you know, wanted poster. I love to see the respect that Garp is given. I love to see him smiling in the picture most of all. Yeah, How and <laughs> it's it's very funny that Aokiji still doesn't underestimate him. Which a lot of people did towards it, it's, it's it's there's a clear difference with a Kainu and Aokiji. A Kainu was underestimating Whitebeard to a degree, mm-hmm. and that's why he got kind of like rocked by him a couple times. Aokiji's like, yo, even if his arms and legs are tied up, you still can't trust him. Like mm-hmm. I I have to swoop in and take him out. Yeah, like I have to. 
I loved seeing the the difference between both of these admirals and their mindsets. And again, I wish we had that Marine movie so we could see it. Yeah. But that was awesome to me. I mm-hmm. hope that movie features Garp a little bit more yeah. than what we probably expected it to. That would be dope. But yeah, that's everything I have to say about that. Uh, so let's get into some Super Chats. Uh, yeah, we have a few sitting. Um, <clears throat> try to find out where I was. Yeah, we're going to go into like phone calls, everybody, and yeah. at like... The seven seven ten seven oh five. There's not much chapter left, honestly. Yeah. Um, and also like the video if you can and if you haven't joined our Discord, join our Discord. Yeah, we got another five from Roberto Figueredo. It says, I also want to say that you should have Ryan on the show, the kid from last week. He was awesome. His name is that meet me. <laughs> and I believe he's starting a YouTube with that same name. So subscribe to that meet me. Uh, but yeah, I would love to have Ryan. If it's available. We have to talk to his mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell her he's using her debit card. <laughs> She's like, what? You wanna talk to who? Who are these strange men? <laughs> we got another five from Derek Clarge. It says, one last question. If Sanji never gets Conqueror's hockey, does that mean he will fall behind of Zoro when it comes to being equals? Um Yes. Well one yes. In strength. Character wise, yes. I don't think it would matter. So here, here's the thing, right? A lot of people still tell you that Law is stronger than Kid, but like one's a conqueror and one's not. So, That's not true. saying that Zoro and Kid are alike or anything. I'm just saying I don't think you need conquerors hockey to be like Zoro level from what we've seen to him to this point. You need great enough hacks. Yeah, you just need extreme hacks, right? Which Sanji kind of has. Hold on, hold on. But as far as where Zoro's going, like I don't think. End of series Sanji and Zoro, like, maybe, like, prologue. Like, Zoro after One Piece is over, right? He's going to keep being Zoro. He's going to keep fighting and trying to be the world's strongest sword. Well, Sanji's going to retire and cook. Like, he's not going to keep rising while Zoro just is, right? Unless the, unless the Straw Hats is Straw Hat and well beyond what I think they will be. Bro, if Kid knew the basics <laughs> of hockey. He does, bro. He was he has basic way, hockey. He, he was going to be stronger than Law at that point. Like, if he could utilize Conquerors to a degree or, like, use Observation to a, a, a better level or even Armament, like, he could coat his weapon. Bro, he better than Law, bro. Law just could do... He can utilize more things. You know what I'm saying? But, like, Kid would definitely be strong. How do you feel, Lawrence? To I, me, I believe Conquerors does play a large factor because... Yeah. It increases your strength. When one, we already we already saw on the show. If you're a conqueror's user, automatically it makes you harder to put down. Yeah, that's you true. know. I'm it, fully it in agreement with that. But you, like, but also, but into attacks, right? For example, because if you're not like doing what Garp's doing, simply but this is extreme, and Larry uses a lot. Really, how you're gonna affect Kaido? Because if you're fighting people who are can't like it's tough to even get through their skin or strong who are really strong uh, durability wise. Conquer is like it gets you gets you there, but if you don't have it, you gotta increase your hockey to like Garp's level. Yeah. Like you have to, mm-hmm. and if you're not doing that, you're not gonna be able to compete with these people who are utilizing their conquerors to that degree. Like for Facts. example, even Shex. But is Garp a conqueror? No, that's my point. Is yeah, but who many people are bringing their level to hockey like the way uh, Garp has? Because for example, even Shex, we've seen he excels in conquerors code and conquerors hockey. Anyone lesser than Garp who just doesn't have Conqueror's card, you think they're gonna be able to fight Shanks? No, <laughs> like you have to. Yeah. So to fight against the top, especially who are utilizing and specialized in Conqueror's coding, you gotta get your your regular hockey to that level. If you're but, not, you're not gonna be able to compete. But this is the thing: we're not talking about the top tiers. We're talking about Zoro. Yeah. Keeping up with Zoro. Do you think Zoro is gonna be able to one v one Shanks? You know, you well, know what I'm saying? Like, what's like, the title? Well, again, right, we're talking about like for me how I see it, right? And I always go to Ryuma a lot, but. Zoro's already tapping into Congress coding, right? And if he brings his level there, he's going to be able to, I'm not saying beat Shanks, but able to fight Shanks. How would I say Sanji if he's nowhere bringing his level to hockey that strong, especially if he's not a Congress user? So he'll always be in the, at least the fighting realm of it because his, he's advancing his Congress coding. He's advancing his Congress hockey. And if you don't have that level, at least to Garp, you're not going to be able to compete with these people. That's just what the show, show, the show is showing us. Like, hey, I think Sanji can have it, so it's, I mean, it's whatever. But you're lying to yourself. <laughs> he could. You even said it early. He, there's an avenue or whatever. Anyway, uh, we got another five from Jay Got a Woody. <laughs> Come on. <bro>. <laughs> 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 
Would y'all would like to talk to someone on panel about how you guys set up your call-in segments? If I can DM someone on IG, uh, that's that's all, Larry. Wait, what was the question? Uh, he would like to talk to someone on panel, like on the panel, about how we set up our call-in segments. Oh yeah, just hop in the Discord. I'll talk to you about it. Yeah, DM Larry. His name is Larry. I think you have a couple Y's in there on Discord. No, not anymore. No? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, it's Larry on our Discord. This, uh, link in the description of the video. We got another uh, Shishi Bukai membership uh, status from Oleg Shin. Uh, thank you so much. Enjoy all the emojis that come with being a Shichi Bukai. Uh, we got another five from Nathaniel Rodriguez. It says, how do we feel about Ace showings in the Ace light novel? Do we think that Ace had the best showing so far as Lagias go? Um, one, no. And two... And canon, bro. Is not... Even if you count it as canon, it's... I didn't really read them. I skimmed them. They look cool. I... Interesting, but I'll never agree that those are canon, bro. Because if he was doing all that that he was doing in the novel, he should have just did it at Marine Four yeah. he was, or he against was, Blackbeard. He was and hurt. he didn't do any of it. He was hurt. ever. This like there, there was two fights, <laughs> and he didn't do any of those things that they did in the novel. Yeah, bro. bro. He was like burning white beard and whipping out Cocker's hockey. Yeah, and, and, like yeah. we're good. There's a lot going yeah. on there. No, and then also just to add to it, because even this where Odin didn't fully back up what Ace's capability was, because. Even in the novel and outside the novel, he said in SBS that Ace awakened his hockey fighting in a Vice Admiral. All of pre time skip, we didn't even see Luffy fight a Vice, Vice Admiral because Luffy didn't really awaken his hockey. But Ace is doing it rookie year, and then we don't see it during Marine Fort War. That's where, like, oh, do you. He didn't, he didn't match up to what we, what we heard just, about Ace from the beginning. Just, it's, in, it's an inconsistency. Yeah. Just, just wait on Ace piece, bro. It's coming. <laughs> uh, we got, well, shout out to Ace here. Yeah, shout out to Ace. We got another five from Noobish Advent. It says, first time live, Larry had bigger than the lie that Mihawk is top G. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That might be the best one. <laughs> that would be the best one. <laughs> Except for E Girl of the Year. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, completely unrelated. Yo, what the? Fuck? But I started watching uh, Psycho Pass, bro. Yeah, Psycho Pass is it's amazing. Type five, I love it's Psycho Pass. E Girl yeah. thing thought made me think of it for whatever yeah. reason. My bad. Anyway, I'm glad you finally took a Yo, turn it's, to liking it. It's, it's dope. It's amazing. It's dope. So far, I'm like six episodes in. Uh, we got another uh, membership to Nakama status from Blake Williams. Uh, thank you for being a Nakama. Enjoy the emojis that come with being that. Uh, we got another two from JT. It says, Dofi beats old white beard. Let me call in. Uh, uh, JT. Ah, uh, man. This is, you know, you'll be good one second, and then you just, <laughs> Listen, you just, you just. I see the vision. No, you don't. But if he gets hit, it's over, bro. Like, <laughs> like he a tank, he not a white beard tank. You get what I'm saying? He not taking those shots. So he got to fight from range. It's not happening, bro. He, Cause just, you he's, he's you really have to believe that Dofi is a bigger tank than a Kainu. Because legit, I'm going to say it again, Sebastian knows. I call Kainu two shots. <laughs> like, <laughs> two <laughs> shots? No, there, there's an avenue to, to, to pushing White Beard. I just don't think he could win the fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But we got another 10 from Jordan Meads. It says, what do you think S. Flamingo, S. Crocodile, and S. Bats Devil Fruits are? I think Oda loves his character so much, they'll be the same. S. Shark and S. Hawk didn't have Devil Fruits. S. Snake was Boas. Okay, so we talked about this on the pod we did. a little bit ago. Um, they can't have, um, like, Crocodile can't have a Logia mm -hmm. or Logia. Um, so technically, Moria and F Flamingo, they could be whatever they have. They've had access to them, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. But Crocodiles would have to be different because Vegapunk said he can't transfer to Logias. Right. So... We talked about that in the past, uh, mm -hmm. what we think it could be. We had some trolling ones. I think one was a Von Kov's. Uh, I said the candle wax just because it would be, uh, he, he ripped Mr. Three so much and hated him so much. It would be poetic justice for him to like, get that fruit. <laughs> that would I, be think we, I think one of us said the Russ Russ fruit too. Mm -hmm. um, do y'all have any more interesting ones that no. you have to think of now? Nothing. No. Yeah. But thank you. Circle back to that episode for a deeper discussion. Uh, we got another t uh, 20 from Thorax. This is after this chapter. Is Aokiji the most interesting character in One Piece right now? <sighs> most interesting? I think he's top five. He's up there. He's already in my top like 10 favorite characters. I think I talked about that before, and I just expect so much from him. Most interesting? I think Kuma's up there too. Just yeah, the yeah. mystery. Um, mm -hmm. I think if, it Garth? depends. If we're talking <laughs> about punk. characters, 
he might be like a top five, top ten. Mm-hmm. But I also think that there might be um, story wise, that's a different category. Mm-hmm. Like if we're talking story, then Vega Punk for sure, right? Like, yeah. There's, I think if we separate those, that would be the difference. Yeah, because I agree, Vega Punk and Kuma, I believe, beat out Aokiji in that. But Aokiji definitely, because I want to know what his. We, I think we all want to know what his end game is. Now he left the Marines because he even said to them that he still believes, even though he's with Blackbeard. And he says, but still claims that he's fighting on the side of the light or like the good side. How does that make sense from your actions? Blackbeard is one of the worst pirate crew to team up with to still fight on that side. And um, he has, we clearly saw that he has his own agenda, what he's trying to do here. So, what is he trying to do now from his side and his perspective? So, that is interesting, but Kuma, there's so much we don't know. And even Vega books get interest in that. And then also, what it ties with the, with the revolutionaries and everything. Kuma has so much going on where it's very interesting. Yeah. All right. Uh, we got another 10 from Kid Kimioi. It says, Endurance isn't really Sanji's strong suit. He's more of a speed slash spy type character with strong defensive hacks. I could agree with that. I mean, with these upgrades now, he's he's start, he's going to start match, driving some people. To, when, to when quote Larry, ready. he's still passed out. So Endurance yeah. still passed out. That's true. I just want to say this because you said this on the last episode. He fought King and Queen before that fight. This isn't just like he fought Queen... And it was like, whatever. There was more to it than that. That is true. But okay. he passed out. He did. <laughs> he did. He passed out. We got another two from Jay Got a Woody. It says, Endgame and Nell versus Blackbeard. That's all you, bro. Um, Endgame and Nell? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> whatever, you, it, whatever you scale end of series and Nell at, I guess. Wherever? How do you scale it, bro? If a Nell knows <laughs> what Blackbeard can do... Yo, he can just go on another island and just start spamming, bro. Blackbeard can sink himself into a black hole and avoid that. I can just eliminate so, the black... No, he, no, he can't do this, Sebastian. Why not? He's never been shown to do this. Yo, if those... like those, He would get bodied, though, if he's super close to Blackbeard. Like, if he, it's over. Like, yeah. quick, too. Yeah, if he, he'd, yeah. Have, to, he'd have, yeah. to have knowledge of his ability. If he yeah. doesn't, it's over, bro. Yeah, it's over. He, it's, he's it's he's over. letting himself get hit. Yeah, like, he, yeah, low Mantra. Maybe the mantra will stop. Yeah, it. and also but. Blackbird could pop. I'm not gonna say he it is, but he's fighting like what space pirates up there. If he like they know nah, hockey nah, and nah, hockey nah, in there, you know they what I'm saying? They probably got hockey in space, yeah, bro. Stop, stop. Why would you sail in the space? Don't, what are they called? The, the, the space pirates? <laughs> what are they called? Don't give me hope. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me hope. Oh my god. I don't need that. <laughs> I got Blackbeard, bro. I got Blackbeard. Yeah, I black, think Laura's got Blackbeard. Black 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 yeah, I got Blackbeard. Alright. Uh, we got another two from Buddy. RTC, it says, does Big Mom have proficient advanced conquerors hockey? Uh, why not use it? I just don't think she has proficient oh, advanced conquerors hockey. We've gone over this so many times. Personally. It's, 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 it's called bad writing. <laughs> I'm going to choose that she favored her ability too much. Oh, she just doesn't have proficient advanced conquerors hockey. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Sure. <laughs> we got another two from that. Meet me. It says, Larry's head looks like when Luffy bit Crocodile. <laughs> Yo, oh my God, sand. Yo. <laughs> yo, you gotta decide which one of these is the best, bro. Yo, I got it, bro. We gotta, we gotta make like a Twitter thing. Oh my God, thank you, that beat me. Uh, <laughs> we got another five from Daniel Edwards. It says, "Is Zoro, when fully healthy, stronger than Luchi?" Yes. What? Are you talking about? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm, yeah. Glad, I'm glad you make sense. Yes. <laughs> Zoro, when fully, Zoro, when not fully healthy. <laughs> Seventy five percent Zoro is probably he fully. No, you saw he did the king. Yeah, dude, he was on rooftop with Yakos at whatever percentage yeah. he was at, still whipping out. Come on, bro. What are we talking about? Yeah, bro. Zoro. Yeah. Um, that's it. it. All right. Um, again, guys, if you haven't liked the video already, please like the video. Arigato. If you haven't joined our Discord, please join our Discord. Thank you too. All right. To go back into the chapter. Um, Aokiji does Ice Glove, and Garp just smiles in his face and doesn't say anything. <laughs> then we go to a uh, pastime between Garp and Aokiji, a young Aokiji. He basically says he wants Garp to take him as on, on as an apprentice, and Garp goes, nah, bro, shut up, buzz off. And then all of a sudden, we see Garp training with these uh, battleship bags, and then he tells Aokiji, who's also doing the same thing as him, that you cannot use your special powers and you cannot use hockey. You just have to punch stuff. 
And then Aokiji is just like, oof, this like really hurts. And then Garp says out loud, yo, I can't believe that my stupid son became a revolutionary. And then the next panel, he goes, now my son is a grand pirate. Uh, he's a grand pirate. He's a pirate. I won't stand for it. And then Aokiji's like, yo, why is that my problem? Like, why are you yoking me up about this? Um, but overall, it, they go to show that Aokiji and Garp have this special relationship. And then Aokiji says, you raised a formidable foe. Consider yourself expelled, you dunce. That's what Garp says back to him. And then they punch each other. There's black lightning around. We don't know what that necessarily means anymore because it's been <laughs> so inconsistent. But they punch each other. And there's shocks that happens across the island. Things break, like buildings and stuff. And they both get pushed back from the punches that they gave each other. Kobe yells out, Vice Admiral Garb. And then, um, every, you know, the Black Bear Pirates, specifically uh, Pizarro, says, Yo, your chances are now like meager to none because right now, Garb is what he is. You guys are on the run, and I have the Isle Isle fruit. So what I'm gonna do is, I know that there's a ship out there, and I'm going to attack it and bring and bring them to the tragic end on Pirate Island. And then Garb looks up as he's as he's laying down and says, "Don't panic, justice will prevail." So my question to you guys, and I think I started with. Lawrence last time, right? Or are you first? I started with you first. Uh, Lawrence, what do you think about the end of the chapter? Oh, um, I love seeing uh, young Garp. Like, uh, we, I know me and Lana always said we would love to see, like, you know, you talk about a Marine movie. And I hope, it doesn't say it has to be based on Garp, but I love to see Garp, like, just like how we see Luffy coming up as a pirate, but young Garp, young Garp coming up as a Marine. What he the pirates he was facing when he was taking on the energy he has because you see how much energy he has as his old age now, but like I'm not saying Lugar was maybe more reckless out there, but you could just picture like a mixture of Luffy because where do you think Luffy got it from? Mm. He got it from Garp, you yeah. know that energy that that recklessness that I'm going straight he straight head into things and I'm a fight and I'm gonna use my fist. That's he's so much like his grandfather, you know, and then. Lionel had so much to say about this, so I'm gonna touch about a little bit what Lionel wanted to say. So to this, if this with this chapter here in these panels, uh, I don't know where it's placed, but this kind of proves the whole Z movie to be 100% <laughs> filler, <laughs> like 100% sure, filler. So don't do that, man. It ha well, cause don't like, do wait, that. wait, what do you mean? Because Lionel's he, been doing the math yeah, on bro. it, and it did, with only with the Z movie. Why, why does he do uh, it? Strong World 2, though. Strong, yeah, Strong it World does two. not make sense. It's not lining up. It is not lining up. Because in the Z movie, they said Aokiji joined the Marines at 19 uh -huh. years old. Okay. Right? So if this is him at 19, look how he looks, right? I'm not going to say if he looks 19 or not. That's besides the point. But look at Garp. Garp is legit 29 years older <laughs> Than Aokiji, mm -hmm. right? So if this is say like let's go youngest, nineteen years old, right? Garp is around like um, like forty one at this time, mm -hmm. or something like that. But remember, he fought the rocks at thirty eight. Yeah. No, no. Was it th thirty eight years old? It's thirty eight years. Thirty eight years ago. Yeah. Then he fought Don Gel. But if you look at how he looked at the rocks, this he's um. He's older than this, but you saw that he doesn't have a mustache. Like mm -hmm. he doesn't have like uh, he's clean shaven when he fought the rocks. But then when he fights Don Chen Zhao on the manga panel, you see him have like uh, a mustache and everything. But like how he looks compared to how he looks here it's is very diff different. Is very yeah. different, you know. Okay. So and you match that up with also um, the Z movie because Z movie Aokiji's supposed to be a vice admiral at that time and Garp's in Strong World, right? He's turning it down because Roger's supposed to die, and Garp has like gray hair on the sides, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't make sense at all, especially. Yeah, so the whole map doesn't. We, so we need Lionel. Yeah, <laughs> Lionel, Lionel Lionel he was going in. in. <laughs> he was getting. He was so bothered by it. I go, dude, just the Z movie was filling. Just relax. Like, <laughs> it's, okay. it's, 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 it's filling, right? It's, okay. it's like a, he goes, no, but it bothers me. I'm like, Shh. We just got to take it. The Z movie didn't matter because it's because he right. holds Oda to that high standard, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. So he did. So he got salty by it. But yeah, and then I thought it was interesting. Like uh, we see him, Alkiji combining Garbage training, but also his ability now 
because mm. with the ice glove. So now the Harfish is trading an ice glove, increasing it, then hockey hardening that ice glove and doing this here, you see the impact it has to actually affect Garp pretty well. Where even though Garp they also got stabbed, where he drops Garp and Garp's even holding his head, just like he got hit with a good one. Yeah. You know? I do believe from the angles though, even though Garp got hit in the temple, which is like the one of the worst spots to get punched. Aochi got hit right here in the jaw. So Aokichi took should have took more of the the blunt from the attack. Yeah. Like we, we ain't <laughs> see him. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't see him, bro. Yeah. But you know, so like um like I feel like Garb's punch landed in more. But yeah, you see the aftermath of it. And the black lightning, for what I understood, it's not leakage. It was more like you're showing hockey hardening, like uh to extreme level. Right? That's why I understand it. But again, we don't really have confirmation on what exactly is it means? What hockey is it representing? And um, but I also thought I liked how you saw the advances. How Alkiji just want to add before I end. You always hear Garb's doom, doom, doom. You hear uh, <laughs> uh, Alkiji's first one, gong, yeah, gong, gong, and then it goes thud, thud. Then later on, doom, doom. Like you hear gong, you hear doom, then thud, gong. Then you hear doom, then thud. Then doom, then doom. So that he's getting there stronger, stronger to Garp's uh, level of how we're doing it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's like this is this is early on Alkiji because Alkiji can't even use hockey yet. So I don't know what age this is or how accurate it is when he actually joined the Marines. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Oh, oh yeah. I just want to add this ability is too similar to freaking uh, <laughs> Pika's. Pika's. Oh my goodness. His was a stone, stone. His is an island, island. So I know that it's different because Pika only works on stone and. This dude's ability works, I guess, with any island. Anything. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but it's so much similar. But it's uh, just matter itself, bro. <laughs> yeah, matter itself. And then Garp with the Justice World Prevail shows that to me it means that he's not out yet. That mm -hmm. he's gonna do something about it, no matter what. Because Garp, like, he kind of he kind of wins. You know, like he's gonna even if he may not make it out of here. He's like, I'm I'm rescuing you guys. You guys are getting off. That's kind of what I get. Like Justice will Prevail because I don't see anyone else coming unless. Sengoku does, but I don't know if Sengoku is going to support what Garp did because also Sengoku, Garp didn't tell him, mm. you know? But Garp's not relying on reinforcements. That's not him. Um, I wish I had more flashback. Yeah. Oh, you didn't go? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. You can go, bro, if you no, want to go first. No, I'll go, bro. All right, so... I agree with Larry on that too. I need a fish oil pill. Bro. <laughs> I agree with that too. I wish I wish the flashback flashback was longer, but it just goes to show like how well Oda writes because even this small little flashback was so much characterization for Garp for me, and and, and Alkiji. So like in this flashback, you got the 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 Lawrence brought out the the thuds yeah. where I thought that was great. It was a nice touch, and that's how it was for me when I would like get up from the desk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but um, I thought it was great because they basically showed the reversal of their relationship, mm -hmm. right? So like Garp is like, "Yo, don't impede on my freedom. Like I'm I'm busy. I'm doing something. Leave me alone." And it's like, "No, I don't have time. For, like I don't want to work with them. Like I, I want to work with you." Blah blah blah. And then the the, the relationship shifts mm -hmm. over time. The thuds are happening, and the relationship shifts. Where Garp is impeding on Alkiji's time. Like, "Yo, come come eat with me. Come do this with me. Uh -huh. My grandson's doing this. My 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 son did this." And it's like, yo, I'm busy, bro. That's a personal problem. Like, I, I don't <laughs> care. I'm busy. I can't do this. I'm, I'm an admiral now. And this is one thing that I didn't like about the original, like the the new trans, like the Viz translation, the official. Aokiji saying what he said um, in the TCB scans, you have a habit of raising enemies. Yeah. That. That was yeah. such a bar, bro. Because yeah. the whole the flashback is talking about my son is a revolutionary now. My grandson's a pirate. You're my number one pupil. We just had this whole thing, and now you're a pirate, and I'm fighting you. And it's like, yeah. yo, you have a habit of raising enemies. Yeah. And it's like, yo, like F that. you, bro. Like, I didn't need that. I didn't need that <laughs> shot, bro. I didn't need that shot. But I thought it was great. I thought it was yeah. a bar. I like that. I like, I like that, that much better. Um, and then the trade, bro. Oh, mm -hmm. my God. Just brutal brutal impact um i was i was up in the air about whether it's conquerors hockey or not but they definitely traded garp holding his head out kiji flying back shout out the grooves just chilling in the cut like <laughs> just trying to protect but like can't do anything <laughs> can't really compete at this level um shout out to habari being thought out so quick 
Mm-hmm. I, I was like, I thought it took way more time. Like, I feel like it took way more time for Robin. Like, more, <laughs> you more said people. what out? Habak, thaw it out. She was frozen. Thaw it out? Thaw it out, bro. Thaw You trying to thaw her out, bro? Thaw it, bro. Thawed, bro. Thawed, bro. Like me. She on a power island. Wait, wait. <laughs> I can't with you. Oh, what? Oh, man. I, I, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but... Shout out to her. Uh, still immediately thinking about Kobe. So, mm-hmm. like, you know, Co- the Kobe hair. She's doing tricks on it. She's doing tricks on it, for real. Uh, the Kobe harem grows. Um, Must I have been like, the leg, uh, leg hair. Yo, bro, he got the. You see Yeah, the pant leg was up. Yeah, the pant leg was <laughs> yeah. up. He was a little waning, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, I liked. I like Pizarro's little, like, yo, you reopen the newspapers, Blackbeard this, Blackbeard that. It shows that, like, they be hating on him. <laughs> Even within the crew, they hate on Blackbeard. I thought that was funny. I'm in control, bro. Yo, and then it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. now. <laughs> it's like, nah, bro, F this ship, F y'all. And, like, I absolutely love seeing Garp so calm. Mm-hmm. I'm fighting, like, like I said, Yonko crew, because I'll keep you here. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm fighting the Admiral, plus... Four or five strong dudes with random Hawks Dell Fruits, and I got to protect these people, and Kobe here getting me hurt, <laughs> and and Gris is Gris, and, or Gris, and Hell Meppo is, no is nothing. <laughs> Might as well not even be here. So, But look at his face. Yeah. I just took one from Alkiji, and I'm, don't panic. Mm-hmm. Justice will prevail. It says he's been in these situations before. Yeah, and it's just another team. Y'all want to know why he's so confident? It's because Go- Bogart on that ship, man. No, okay. Bogart on that ship. His man's here. <laughs> His man. Go- that- Bogart ain't coming, bro. I, <laughs> I can't say something about that. Bogart ain't coming, he bro. He should be here. But <sighs> shut up. <bro. laughs> shut up. <laughs> Beyond that, like I said before, bro, it's still pack watch season. Y'all see the, the flashback here. <clears throat> pack watch is, is slowly but surely creeping into y'all minds. Yeah. Garp on pack watch, bro. Not Fro Watch, because y'all was wild when y'all called with that. I still yeah. don't know what that was about. But he is on Pack Watch. Mm-hmm. So, he will be missed, though. <laughs> okay. Not yet. <laughs> Damn, bro. Garp, no, no, not yet. No, he's not getting packed next yeah, chapter. Yeah, yeah, nah, that's what I mean. It's not next not chapter. Not that he's not going to be missed, but Garp ain't going out yet. He getting packed up, though. Mm-hmm. I hope. <laughs> Larry? Um, I want more flashback. Again, bro, just show me Marines, bro. Like, I, I want to, like, this is like the first tidbit of information we get to people getting trained. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's more instances, but there, this is like an actual instance between somebody who probably has their Logie ability right now and how they get stronger during their time there. Um, so I'm going to say this, and I know this is going to sound wild. I think Garp trained... Aokiji, and I think Sengoku trained Akainu. Mm. And it makes it very interesting because be interesting. when they were appointed to take Fleet Admiral when Sengoku retired, Sengoku picked Aokiji. Because he knows what he's really like. Yeah. <laughs> so, to me, I was like, that would be kind of crazy if that was... He did not pick his own disciple. He didn't he even like, pick his own disciple. Yeah, you dark, dog. Yeah. I saw you trying very, to kill Kobe. Um, Orochimaru and third Hokage vibes, but yeah, never mind. Um, that was cool. Um, what, what else can I say? Um, I, I know people are gonna go crazy with what's Dragon a Marine, or like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was I, I wish Oda gave us a little bit more verbiage on what Garp actually was talking about regarding Dragon because I do want to know. I think the relationship between Dragon and Garp, I think we need to get that before Garp ends up passing, if he does, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I want that. Like, I want to get the info from that. I even want them to meet. I want Luffy, Garp, and Dragon to be on the same panel at one time. I don't know how it makes good storytelling. <laughs> I just want to see it. Yo, I actually have a mini theory on that. It's uh, that Luffy and Dragon will meet on Egghead, and they'll both discover that Garp passed together um <laughs> i don't even want i don't want that. but then you, you, don't, but, you need, but then you don't get garp saying anything and that's what listen garp don't need to be an inspiration for luffy he just needs to be an inspiration no, no, no. for Kobe. so the, 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 the hold on so the reason why i want that too because it would be another dope thing that oda does and it would resemble the three monkeys where there's one <laughs> blinding itself one blinding <laughs> and then one doing this yeah and that then he makes cool. it to where like dragon is the one that never talks 
Garp is the one that's blinded because of who he's working for, mm -hmm. and then Luffy's the one get covering his ears because he doesn't listen to anybody. <laughs> I would love that. You'll never see it, but I'd love the. I'd love the. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I'd like it, but yeah. we're not gonna see that. We gotta like. pack them off first somehow. <sighs> I know. So I will say this: if y'all gonna call whatever Blackbeard did as conquerors hockey, <laughs> 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 when? Because there was a zit zit sound, zit, zit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you're saying that Aokiji and Garp definitely have conquerors hockey, there's no zit zit here, okay? <laughs> so the sound bite of zit zit doesn't initiate that you have conquerors hockey yeah. at all. Because even Jinbei did something like this. But this is a completely different scale, right? Like if people are punching things, battleship bags, and they're using armament hockey now, I can see how it wouldn't resemble Congress hockey, but it resembles the highest form of armament hockey, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I thought that was super cool. Um, ah, all right, so I'm going to get to the point where, like, don't panic, justice will prevail. I think what's going to happen, I think we're going to see a, a Aokiji save them. I think we're going to have an awakening from Aokiji. He's going to freeze everybody that's not a sword member. He's going to freeze Pizarro. And he's going to stop that from happening. That will be the justice part of Aokiji. And then what's going to happen is Aokiji and Garp are going to fight uh, while everybody escapes. And then Garp might be captured after that because he, he got stabbed through the stomach. The reason I say this is because of Film Z. And it's funny that you guys brought that up. Film Z... We had Zeph injured from Luffy's fight. He puts up the ice wall, and then he just starts fighting, right? He lets the uh, person who trained him go out in honor, mm -hmm. go out fighting. I think in this turn, he's going to build a ice wall, but it's going to be between him and the person who trained him, mm -hmm. and they're going to fight it out. And he'll Wouldn't be that blow his cover, though? No. Oh, because he, oh, he would still defeat him in this situation. No, it wouldn't, he wouldn't get caught Everyone because oh, he would have been like, I had to go all out, and I had I ended mm. up freezing him on accident. Yeah. And also, too, it's like uh, Garp started going all out, and I focused all my attention on Garp. Everyone else got away. but Because if you captured Garp... He's not going to care. Yeah. He's Black not going to care. Oh, you got Garp who? Yeah. yeah. That's higher than Kobe. So y'all think yeah. Garp gets captured? Like, y'all think he escapes, or you think he gets captured? I want to... I the reason I say it captured is because I don't want to see it. But story wise, it makes sense. Yeah. Put it that way. Yeah. But if it was up to me, I wouldn't have him captured. Yeah, I would have Garp. Oh, y'all know me. To me, I I choose him getting captured over Garp's death. But to me, I can see Garp escaping. But it's it's fifty fifty between getting captured and escaping. But I don't believe he dies now or yeah. he passes here. It's either capture or escapes. Yeah. But. Yeah, that was that was kind of my thoughts. I think Aokiji is going to be the justice that Garp was talking about. I thought of that too. Um, but that's what I'm going into. Like, what, what's what's Aokiji's end game? Like, what are you trying to do? That's what makes him interesting at this point. Yeah, and it just makes sense. We saw a Punk Hazard get frozen. That's an island. Why mm -hmm. wouldn't he freeze Bizarro? Mm -hmm. Yeah, freezing Pizarro would be funny. Because how would it work? Like, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's I think I think what we're gonna see is Aokiji's gonna put his hand on the floor, like in a superhero position, and he's gonna say like the move, and then we're gonna see the uh, ground be awakened. I thought we would see Kazaru be the first Logia to use his awakening, but I can see now Aokiji being the first person. Yeah, I think we mm -hmm. stick here. For next chapter, you think we jump around again? Nope. I think we stick here. Yeah. I think we stick here. I too. think we finish yeah. this out. Just because of the tagline that Garp had and like it having that cliffhanger, I yeah. don't know how you would like. I don't know if we'll stay the whole chapter. If we went to, but we would start deal. That has to be dealt with, bro. Yeah. That yeah. has to be dealt. Whatever yeah. that giant arm is has to be dealt with, and it's Bogart, bro. Yeah. I don't, <laughs> oh, other other people good. brought up um uh that Moria and uh Perona are on this island somewhere that they could play a role in whatever happens here. They could. So that's another another like shout that like it's possible. No, that definitely is possible. Yeah. So Yeah. Guys, uh we're gonna go into super chats and then we're gonna start taking phone calls. Yeah. Yo, fire chapter though. Yeah. Chapter fire. It was so quick. Yeah. I wanted more, bro. Uh, I felt like I was reading like Black Clover. Cause when you read Black Clover, it, it seems like 
five pages happen mm. because the dude just draws so much and he ends it in like 13 pages. Mm. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, so we got happening. a 10, oh, yeah, we got a 10 pound uh, donation from Sweaty Gamer. It says, with all the showings from characters recently, Revolutionaries, Gorsay, Blackbeard Pirates, etc., is Dofi even top 50 anymore? Oh, man. Don't disrespect. Come on, bro. We talking about Conquerors Hockey, bro. Awakened Hawks Devil Fruit, Birdcage alone. Don't disrespect, bro. Feel me, God threat. That's disrespectful. Awakened. Like 50? Of course. You're doing yourself a disservice <laughs> by asking that question. Stop yes. it. <laughs> Get yes. some help. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely part 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, bro. He's a little lower than I thought he was, but he's not. He's top 50. Anyway. Uh, oh, we debate this so much. Uh, another two from Sunset Grub. It says Luffy versus Big Mom. Who's winning? I got Luffy. Um, I think you're a Big Mom. Yeah. I don't remember what Lawrence is. Um, honestly, I'm leaning towards Luffy. Respect. We got another 20 from Thorax. It says, another Aokiji question. After this is all said and done, do you think Aokiji's justice will stay the same? Lazy justice. Or will it change? If so, what do you think it would be? Keep up the great content. I think it's already changed. I don't think it's... He's active now. Like, he's yeah. going out and doing these things for whatever he believes in. We just don't know what it is yet. So, Wait, I think it's already not lazy was justice. Was Aokiji... I thought Kazara was lazy justice. I don't remember. I don't remember. Batman's justice. <laughs> but even if, if he was, I think it definitely changed because now he, I think he sees what changed it. If he wasn't before, yeah, he's it's, um, how oh, is he it? He was Lady Justice. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's Akainu. When he heard that Akainu was going to be either, either two things, either they went for it at the same time or Akainu went for it first and Aokiji's like, all right, I'm not being an admiral if you're going to be, um, and Admiral, like, I'm going for it. Like, I'm not staying in, underneath you because he doesn't want to see anything what happened before. Again, Aokiji was there with Akaino when Akaino legit took out a whole ship filled with the islands of Ohara civilians just because one child or one person may or may not. All you had to do was really just search the ship. Aokiji, uh, Akaino was like, no. It's too much work. Yeah, sure. <laughs> just dead them all, you know? So Aokiji saw that, and then he commented about that about Akaino. So I think he didn't want to be underneath that type of uh, office mm -hmm. reign. Like, so it's like either that trumped it, uh, like it motivated him, or he wanted it either or because he didn't want to be in any position of someone else who might. Like I could chase things from the top. Like in, um, was it Fulminant Alchemist? That I forgot that guy's name. But anyway, so those things I think motivated Alkiji to do something different. And now since it didn't work out, he's putting that more into active now here, mm -hmm. like while he's free. Because he even said there's more than one way to go about doing it from the Marine side. Yeah. You got anything for it or no? No. All right. We got another five from Buddy RTC. It says, Garp is the goat of practical training. Shout out to Luffy <laughs> in the forest alone running from crocodiles at age four. Foreshadowing. Uh, <laughs> hashtag Garp the difference. <laughs> the Garp difference. Yeah, man. Garp's a pretty decent trainer. You know? Yeah. Yeah. He's a terrible, like, as far as practical parenting, but. Um, we got another two from Buddy RTC. It says, also, this is reverse Marine Ford, Garp not living. I feel you on the message, but technically, Whitebeard didn't make it in Marine Ford. So yeah, reverse so. Marine Ford, he lives. Yeah. Um, we got another five from Celestial Donkey. Hashtag Buggy Gang. Y'all already knew it was coming, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> we got another seven from River Joker. It says, hey, guys, longtime Spotify listener, and you guys are awesome. Question. Thank you. What are you guys' favorite One Piece theories? Hashtag One Piece Scholars. Uh, there's so many out there, bro. Theories. So many theories. La the one Larry dropped on Blackbeard um, stealing people's, like, uh, the darkness fruit, allowing him to tap into, like, uh, Whitebeard's Quake hockey, like his, uh, his Conqueror's hockey, or people, the previous users of the fruits, like, hockeys. I thought that was dope. Um, there's so many theories, bro. Yeah, there's a it's million. There's a million, bro. The one I had one, but I'll never talk about it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything Broker says, bro. Shout out to Broker. Yeah, Broker has some really broker good ones. Broker has some fire ones. Well, there's so many. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. It's too many to count, bro. I think that Morge one is still top tier for me. The, yeah. the three ancient weapons mirroring the three types of hockey. I think. That's really dope, yeah. That, like. Just, yeah, that's probably just, one of the best ones. Yeah, it's just fire. Um. Yeah, we got another. Uh, Eat Dirt joined us as a Nakuma. Thank you so much, oh, Eat thank Dirt. You. Uh, we got another 
One buff membership to Shichi Bukai status from Asterio Jack. It says, would y'all like it if both Shanks and Garb die by the hands of Blackbeard? It's like you're new here, bro. <laughs> yes. That's a passion. That is, that is me. That's that is my agenda. That, you want to know what theory I want? That theory. <laughs> That's the theory. <laughs> that one. Uh, I'm not I'm not too crazy up on that idea, especially the Shanks one. The Garb one makes more sense. I can see that one, but Shanks, no. Uh, I think that uh, Luffy and Shanks are gonna have their own their own battle. We in the end game, bro. Pack watch. We here. <laughs> we here now. I can see Rayleigh and Garb uh, passing to Ray- uh, Rayleigh's one. I don't want to go. For whatever reason, he's like it's like he chill, bro. But he fits your criteria of oh he does he definitely mentor. fits Pack he definitely does. But what we doing? He spent I'm not, all right. That's kind of wild. Who spent more time, Rayleigh and Garp? I mean Rayleigh and Luffy or Garp and Luffy? Garp and Luffy. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, all right. So check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, no. check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. What is this guy talking about? Yo, it's not even a full two years, right? It's a year and a half. Garp. You don't think Garp checked in? <laughs> it, like, nah? Garp spent a total <laughs> Come on, bro, of bro. one week. Um, <laughs> yo. A total of one it's, week. It was longer than that, bro. It yeah, was longer than that, bro. It was longer than that. Rayleigh was there for six months. <laughs> a year and six months. No, no, no. I thought he was there for just no, six months. He left at the, like, six months left to yeah, two years. He left there. So it's Gar, it's Gar, bro. Rayleigh is his real granddad. <laughs> Chill out, bro. Y'all wildin'. That's his real granddaddy. Y'all wildin'. That's granddaddy right there. Y'all wildin'. Uh, we got another five from Andrew Nojim. No, Jaim. Uh, it says, what if Aokiji pulls a Jaguar D saw move and freezes Garb? Frozen Garb, yes. Listen, Frozen Garb, packed up Garb, all of it. It's happening. Yeah. Sebastian yeah. did a whole thing with, like, the whole Blackbeard thing and... You know, why quaking. Your, why your hand moving? Why you, what, what, you, <laughs> what you? What you? What you trying to get into? <laughs> yeah, you gotta wear a red shirt. I gotta wear, <laughs> you gotta wear a red shirt, bro. Shout out to Trey Rag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got another five from Blake Williams. It says Wind and Sun from Aesop's Fable represents Dragon Wind and Luffy's Sun. Who's Garp then? I haven't read Aesop's Fables in a long time. That's like. That's like middle school era. I don't think I've ever read it. You never read Aesop's Fables? Nah, bro. I was reading like... Aesop is based on I was worried about Ponyboy and his outsiders, bro. Yeah. I remember that. Yo. I remember that. Yo. (laughs) That and Ace hits the big time, bro. Nah. It was like Catcher and Arai and stuff. Nah, but those are the... Listen. Middle school reading. What what was the hat? No. The hatchet. Oh, yeah. That was middle school, too. Damn, we was reading a lot. (laughs) (laughs) We was reading a lot. We got another five from Durantula33. It says... Do you think the admirals were given their fruits by the government or had them before joining? I think Greenbone and Fujitora had them. OG3 were given. I will agree with the OG3 were given their fruits. Because clearly Aokiji didn't have a fruit, I don't think. Yeah, I think the OG3 were given. And I doubt they just found them. No, they didn't. Yo, if you're a Marine and you, like, arrest a pirate and, like, there's a doubt, like, is it procedure to, like, give it in or can you just eat that? I don't know. I'm eating the fruit. <laughs> I'm going to Mega Pump first, though. I'm like, yo, what is this? <laughs> a word? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what is this? Um, but yeah, I think Fuji and Green Bull probably have theirs. Uh, we got another five from Terrence Matthews. I says, I honestly think there will be a battle royale between all four Emperor crews. Um, nah. And it's I, about, it, it'd be different times, like one crew fighting the other. Different time, but I don't think that's going to come to that. I think there's there's an avenue. I just don't know if we'll get it. Yeah. 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 Mm. I agree. Um, we got another five from Mysterio Jack. It says, Nah, I remember your stance, Seb. Just seeing if opinions changed after the recent chapter. Because it looks like Garp going to die. Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> and it makes me very, very happy. I got to <laughs> stop, bro. I actually love Garp. You sound crazy. So, you say that. BetterHelp. We're talking about fictional pirates and marines, bro. That's that's what you need, bro. Listen, here you go. You you seem kind of dark. Snape, Dumbledore vibes, bro. (laughs) I've been trying to tell you. I wish Lotto was here. I wish I could remember what episode it was we argued about it. But we got to get the call. So, I'm sure. Marv, (laughs) let's put up the phone number so we can hear from our fans. Sponsor? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do the sponsor. Sponsor first. Yeah, my bad, guys. Sponsor first. (laughs) This episode is sponsored by. Better help. Have you been struggling lately? Maybe you're having trouble sleeping, difficulty with a relationship, or just struggling from low self-esteem. Listen, 
I've been there. We've been there. If so, then today's BetterHelp wants to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private, online environment at your own convenience. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000-plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire, simple as that, to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched with the therapist in under 48 hours. Then you schedule a secure video and phone sessions. Plus, you can exchange unlimited messages and everything you share is completely confidential. I happened to sign up at one point regarding my confidence issues. Next thing you know, my confidence issues are not issues anymore. I'm doing pretty well in that area. You can request a new therapist at no additional charge anytime. Join the 2 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced better help therapist. Special offer goes out to all that One Piece Talk listeners. You get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash T-O-P-T. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash T-O-P-T. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Marv. Oh man. Uh uh-uh. um. But yeah, call now, y'all. Call now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk some shit. We'll talk some sh- <laughs> Let's talk some shit. <laughs> We got three. We got dudes hundreds of dudes <laughs> waiting by the phone, and they all talking shit about you right now. Hey, what's going on? This is Larry from that One Piece talk. Who are you, and how are you? What up, guys? It's Chocolate. Hey, Chocolate. Wait, wait, Jacklet or he chocolate? said Chocolate. Oh, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate Thunder, Thunder, right? Yeah. Oh, chocolate. remember I couldn't read his name correctly. Yeah, I love Chocolate, terrible. bro. Hey, what's up? Right. Oh, what's your question, man? Uh, well, actually, kind of more of a theory stuff. So. Um, so with how this chapter is set up, I'm now really interested on how the fight between Aokiji and Akaino went down on Punk Hazard. Because seeing how Garp is the one that trained um, Akainu, or Aoki, yeah, Aokiji, so I'm kind of see, like having one of Garp being one of the strongest Marines probably in history, as far as we know, he training, uh, um, Akiji, and then him still being losing the fight. I understand, like, with their devil fruits, Aokiji is definitely at the disadvantage compared to having magma, having ice. But I think my theory is that either Cypher Pool had some kind of play in it, like how they did with, between um, Luffy and um, Kaido, like how they interfered. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why Aokiji, like, straight up left the Marines because he can't trust the government anymore. And I was just kind of curious, like, what you guys think of that? Mm, I mean, that would be interesting. I don't, I think it takes away from a kind of, though. you know what I mean? Like, I would kind of like it just to show, like, how grimy the world government is. And, like, they said that the Gorosei and the higher-ups were pushing for a kind of. So, like, I could see mm-hmm. them ordering that kind of a, like, kill order or like whatever to, to make sure that a kind of one but I don't think we gain enough from that you know like a kind of supposed to be the big bad of the Marines if he only got it for this like he's not he's not Blackbeard where like the whole shtick is underhandedness I would like to think that they fought they were friends and it was or at least <clears throat> colleagues that had respect for one another they fought they both put in their all and one person just ended up winning like, I, I just like that better as a story. Or, like, one person was willing to go farther. Right, right. Yeah. And and even mm. then, Aokiji has since talked about it. With I mean, it's the Blackbeard Pirates, but he talked about it. He didn't... He was upset. He was upset, but he didn't seem like that salt. Like, you know what I mean? It wasn't, man, if only this didn't happen kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I don't think I don't think that's the, the light that he's viewing it. He's just like, damn, I lost. Yeah. Like, I had, I had all everything I wanted there. I could have been leading the Marines to where I want them to go. And I couldn't win. So, personally. But, I mean, that's a fire thought process, though. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I know when you was talking to the Black Bears, like Sebastian Brungo, 
he even said, like, they asked him, oh, so you lost a leg, right, and an arm, was it? Mm-hmm. And what'd you take from him? And he was just like, he only got, uh, only got, gave him scars or whatever, like something to remember him by. But I don't think anyone jumped in. I what I how I saw it is, uh, from what we saw in the manga or the show, Oda gave us is that Akainu's ability naturally was the stronger ability over Aokiji's. Like for example, Ace and Aokiji's ability supposedly clashed together, but Akainu was supposedly the one that burned Ace. Uh, his ability so was like uh, his ability was naturally stronger than Ace's and Aokiji. So basically. Aokiji was at a disadvantage during that fight with that aspect. The only thing that could rival now is their hockey. Like, Aokiji's hockey would have to jump to the forefront. But we also don't know the extent of Aokino's hockey. So let's say that their hockeys do clash evenly, you know? Now it's basically up to ability-wise. So that's why I believe why the fight lasted at a stalemate for so long. And it's actually more impressive on Aokiji's part. Because even if uh, his hockey matched evenly or his hockey was slightly weaker... That's a lot while Kiji has to make up for it within 10 days because your ability already is at the weaker end. Not too much weaker, but we just know it's just naturally, Alkinos is naturally stronger. But the hockey wise is a big aspect towards it. But I believe that Alkiji was impressive in that because he's able to match Alkinos for 10 days even with that disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think, though, man, about the responses they gave you? Uh, no, I, like, I, I completely agree like that, especially because. Okay, um, yeah, Akainu definitely does have, like, the ability advantages compar- with their Devil Fruits comparity, and we don't truly know, like, where uh, but either of their um, hockeys really, like, are max out at. So, like, obviously, like, it was just a weird thought process, like, definitely now, like, seeing that Aokiji was trained by Garb, like, now, like, of all the fights that we, like, want to see, like, Punk Hazard is now definitely, like, one of my top ones. Yeah. Okay. But um listen man, thank you so much, Chocolate, for stopping by and calling, man. Uh thank you. Yeah, nah, love you guys. Y'all are amazing. Hey, appreciate that, bro. Much yeah, love, bro. Much... <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Yeah, you, <laughs> too. you too. See ya. Bye. See ya. I'm telling you, bro, we need that movie, bro, for the community, dog. Yeah, it would be great. Oh, be sad. Hey, on, what's man. going on? This is Larry from That One Piece Talk. Who are you and how are you? Yo, this is Andrew. Andrew! Hey. Andrew! Up, man? One, thank you for the super chats, bro. Seriously. Oh, that wasn't me. Oh. oh. <laughs> we still have to see you, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, 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 you should have just took you it, bro. Took you should have took that. Like, that you know what? Respect that you did nah. it, bro. Nah, bro, lie, bro. Respect, respect, no. respect that you did it, bro. <laughs> Hey, I gotta be honest. I'm not, no, I'm not we good at lying. Appreciate the honesty. Nah, bro, lie to me. I need yeah. to feel good. <laughs> okay, okay. Here's the line. Okay, I hate buggy. No. <laughs> oh, you, you... no. What am I kidding? Well, I just want to give a shout out. I just want to give a shout out to Bogart. He was in the background, but I still gotta give him a shout out for that. Yes, man. Anytime you see Bogart on panel, you feel me? It's a good day. Yeah, just, just. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm oh, not gonna tag. My... I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, for, so for my question, I was for in regards to the Akazaya Nine or the, or the Scabbards. Do you think they became like a disappointment after their fight with Kaido at Oginigashima? What do you mean by disappointment? As in, like they felt like they felt like their characters were just un, no, I'm sorry, not disappointment. They were underutilized, like after okay. their fight with Kaido. I think that's the best word. It. Do you mean after, like, the things that took place after they fought Kaido? Or do you mean as a whole when you read them and they finally fought Kaido and you saw what it was, were you still disappointed after? I need to I need to figure what you're saying here. Oh, it was after the fight, after the mm. fight, so. Like, what they did after the fight. <sighs> yeah, so, like, the like the Owen drawing, like, that, that kind of stuff. I hope it's, okay. if I'm, if it's yes. not clear enough. <laughs> if, that's, if that's the question, yes. I, to me. I mean, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say all of them. Yeah, right. I, yeah, them. like they, they, you know, uh, Kinemon did his thing. You know, Rizo helped with the water and stopping, you know, this flame that Kanjiro spurred up. Ashura Doji gave his life to save, you know, his Nakama. Um, I, you know, I, I think there was a lot of impressive moments, but for all of them, except one, mm-hmm. and that was Denjiro. 
I think Denjiro got the the bad stick of everything that happened afterwards because realistically he wasn't in the manga chapters for like 63 chapters. Yeah. It was a mm-hmm. long time before we saw Denjiro again. And when we did, he kind of took the spotlight and received credit for Merc and Orochi. <laughs> And it wasn't really like he had to try hard. So it, there wasn't much to gain from Denjiro where I feel like there was opportunities because I always felt he was top two or top three strongest out of the Akazaya 9. And plus he had such a huge mm. history, right? Like he had such an important factor on Hiyori's life and also to the startup of Onigashima and the role that he played in being this pompadour uh, villain who also at nighttime stole riches in order to get to the poor. There was a lot of story for him to have, but he just took a complete backseat. But that's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Well, now, yeah, and also I think it was even was it Dogstorm that fought and took out Jack? Mm-hmm. I believe. I forgot what Cat Viper did. He took out Prospero. Yeah, took out Prospero. So it was mainly Dendro, and mainly because not that he wasn't strong enough, it's like we didn't see him do much. His main focus was, t- I mean, you could look at, he protected um, Odin's daughter. That was his so, his main drive, it seemed. And I agree with the Dendro thing, because I had high hopes for him, for him to only do that, only basically cherry pick Orochi at the end. Is, I was disappointed, extremely disappointed. Um, mm-hmm. But even with the Dukes, like, they were losing. They only, Luffy had to clutch for them, like, for the moon to come back. Yeah. If they would have pulled it, like, it's like, yo, the, you know what? Rizo, not this point. <laughs> Rizo was in the pocket mm-hmm. doing the thing, bro. Shout out to Rizo. Nah, man. Shout out to Rizo, I, I can't bro. agree with that. Shout out to Rizo, I can't bro. agree with that, bro. I really can't because at the end of the day, they were still doing more than Denjiro was. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it's, listen, yeah. Denjiro, Denjiro was the biggest disappointment. This is why I said as a whole. Like, he, he great. You great with a curve. Mm. Den- if they get in 65s and 80s, Denjiro got like a five. <laughs> so, it's like, ah, oh, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> we, we almost passed, but this dude got a ten over here. And and what's sad about it? Because Dendro was like like Larry said, was arguably probably the strongest out of all of them. You yeah, know? like even Zoro recognizes oh, and, his strength. And Ashura Doji is cool. So, yo, he got he he passed from that yo. <laughs> like with all the stuff we see out here, bro. Yeah. I love how Sebastian just goes, yo, writing writing was cool, yo, accept it. <laughs> and then he's like, yo, the writing was so bad here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna critique what I need to critique, bro. You talk about whether the scabbers are disappointment. You so select. Yo, bro. yo, and again, Keen, yo, yeah, because now you got me remembering. Keenamon, um, oh yeah, I sacrificed myself for Mo. Amazing, right? And then I get poked up, and it's oh, I actually, the law of surgery didn't stick. Come on, bro, get him. <laughs> He's mm-hmm. a doctor. No, Keenamon should have passed. Um, yeah, he should have passed. Kiku was telling too many poems and stuff for whatever reason, and, and then she ain't even passed. We know that. that easel pa- Yo. Oh, Kiku. Wait. Why are we talking about Wano, man? <laughs> <laughs> like, anyway. Wait, I'm Kiku didn't, didn't pass? Nah. Nah, Kiku did, lived. bro. Shout out to Kiku. Ezo lived. Oh, Ezo's yeah. dead. Yeah. <laughs> Ezo, man. What about, uh, what about you, Andrew? What do you think about your question? Yeah, so it was just because I was discussing with one of my friends about just the Akazai 9, and I and I disagree with him saying, like, yeah, they did have a, their their moments, like, Dogstorm, Cat Viper, like, got their get back, like, they had they took down Peril Sparrow and Jack, um, like, Asha Doji died, I mean, <laughs> let's see, <laughs> um, Dendro, no, I know, that's messed up, but, <laughs> 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 I mean, Dendro, I mean, hey, at least you, he got. He finally got to kill Orochi, even though Hiyori should have at least got that win. That's but that's just me. Mm-hmm. Like he, now the only thing that like really annoyed me was the uh, the Kondro drawing of Odin and how everyone was played so easily. Or is that just me? Yeah, bro. Yeah, that was bad. Hey, hey, yo, 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 y'all tell y'all yeah. tell me what did Kawamatsu do, bro? Like y'all. Yeah. Who? Backup no, support. The nothing. The whole. The fishman? The fishman? Yes. What he do? Nothing, bro. No. I yeah. can't. I can't sign off, bro. Hold on. What oh, was, yeah. what was Kawamatsu of... doing? Nothing. He was with Yoguro on the live floor, protecting people. Yeah, fighting. Yeah, he was. Yeah, that's where he was at. Yeah. Helping Marco, I guess, because he can't fly. Hey, they yeah. played their role. All right. They played their role relatively well. Shout out to Rizo. Rizo is the MVP. He ain't getting yeah. real votes. Bro. Yeah, that that guy was literally on fire for like twenty chapters. <laughs> and then he brought the water 
about? Come on, man. I will say they could have had a better showing. As a group, they could have. Yeah, they could have had a better showing. But, but, but some still did they think. Some, some JT yeah. said leave it to Seth to hate on a fish man. <laughs> I think true. Why? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, because the, they were hyping that fishman up, and he yeah. didn't really do much. I yeah. do remember that. Yeah. This is why we don't support Fishman. Now it's all <laughs> oh my see, God. See, hey, see, you y'all say it's careful? me. <laughs> y'all no, say no, it's no. me. Hey, I, I give I a regular take that. about what a character didn't do. Yo. Y'all brought it to the race, bro. Yo, and if you want to be careful, because they came at me hard, <laughs> and I wasn't even attacking Fishman. It was a misunderstanding. Yo, y'all going to get canceled. <laughs> y'all getting canceled. Yeah, and I, I was not yeah. attacking Fishman in any way, and they came at me. So Fishman he, writes, bro. <laughs> I was going to say you support who's who. I, <laughs> I thought I was gonna say I thought who's who was cool, but like the sign was cool. The name yeah. sounds yeah, cool. Yeah, that was That's about it. He, he was, was a dis- gonna, he was another disappointment though. Yeah, he was a disappointment. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna say he has like a written apology. He's like I made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> he goes on YouTube. <laughs> He says, I just wanted to say sorry yeah. with three dots. <laughs> it's like hey, he just goes like and hey, my fellow beast pirate oh says, my I'm God. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yo, oh my god. Yo, yeah, I need to stop with this fishman hate. But Andrew. Hey. <laughs> hey, you. I'm all I'm I'm all support of Jim Bay. Like I'm not too sure about Arlong, but I'm all for support for Jim Bay. Yo, you think Jim Bay stank or no? Nah? <laughs> no, Jim hey, Jim Bay's the go. Like, man, hey, I don't I don't too sure. What about you, Sub? Uh, fish what he smells sea like? He be his, he nah, be nah, sea water. Would he stank? Nah. I don't like the smell of fish in general. He means he Damn, well. I don't bro, know. that's crazy. <laughs> Who does, bro? Yo, that's Who does wild. That was like, yo, yo, that was... Come on, that's bro. That's crazy. Hey, he imagine was crazy. I was like, like, yo, I don't like the, the smell of Italian, bro. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, bro. Just like, hey, yo, so, you gotta give him base, like, hey, you have a gift. He's just like, hey, this is just a bar of soap. Like, you know? <laughs> Nah. Shout out to Jim Bay, bro. Sam yeah, bro. Shout out to him. Shout out to Jim Bay, bro. I like Jim Bay. Yeah, yeah. He dressed up as Jim Bay, man. Yeah. Yeah, that was blackface, potentially. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a fun. This is fun. Oh, man. Andrew, thank you so much, man. For, for yeah, no problem. Man. Trying to get me out of this. Oh, yeah. Um, just, just one thing. Um, just sorry. Right. Um, shout out to Buggy. Like, just Buggy. <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Okay. Buggy gang. Just hang up, bro. Yeah. I can't wait oh, for God, Buggy God. to come out as a fishman so that I could be fully <laughs> supportive and y'all could y'all could never y'all could never come from me. You know me that's again. not gonna happen. <laughs> Andrew, thank you. You hung up too fast. <laughs> thank you, Andrew. Have a good one. Gotcha. Hey, what's going on? This is Larry from that One Piece Talk. Who are you and how are you? Uh hey guys, holy crap. Um, this is Kirby Cave. I just uh, joined the Discord a couple days ago and became a member today. Oh, hey, thank you, Kirby. Awesome, awesome. Kirby, a- it's an AO name, by the way. Kirby? I- I'm picturing you right now, bro. Hey, man. Fire, bro. <laughs> Wait, hey, yo. Kirby or Kirby? It's Kirby Cave. Oh, okay. Do your thing. You in the gym? Nah. Those ain't the Kirby's. Uh, yeah, I am hitting the gym a little bit here and there. Where hey, uh, my question for you guys is today. Um, so whenever we see the straw hats on the ship, they're all doing their all doing their thing. Sanji's cooking. Uh, Nami's doing whatever. Uh, Brooke is playing his violin. Zoro is always training. Now, I want to know if you guys think that Sanji spent as much time training as Zoro did. Would they be closer to equal strength? Or is it just like, no, Zoro's got it in the bag? Oh, man. We used to argue about this all the time, too. Yeah, you, that, that was like Sebastian. He don't even train like that. He don't even train like that. It was my <laughs> biggest thing, yo. Uh, but I, I'm going to say yes, but only for a, a short period of time. Like and, and, like we talked about before, Zoro has conquered hockey. Yeah. So he has the avenue to be a top tier that Sanji just doesn't have the access to. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if he trained... He probably would have awakened his like exoskeleton stuff sooner or whatever. That's you know? true. Um, so then he would have just been just crazy strong earlier. But like, is there a limit to that even? Mm-hmm. Like, is, like yeah. he had to train hockey and then that. So mm-hmm. without hockey specific training, is he getting to that level? Is yeah. So that's true. Too. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard to gauge. And that's where it kind of factors into like with training. Usually, while you're training, your hockey gets stronger or is going to get stronger. You know. Um, we know that Sanji's a fighter, but I don't think his, even though he's a very passionate dude, I don't think his will is involved in his fights enough. 
Like we constantly see it with Luffy and Zoro, where their will is constantly being wakened, the challenging, and used. We don't see that much. Even now, it's like, all right, what what grew was his natural abilities with his exoskeleton and what he was created, but not so much as his will. If Sanji finds a way to even with training it activate his will more, that's going to make his will stronger. That would increase his strength overall to compete with Zoro. Because you all know the main power you get as strong as you want physically in the show, but if your hockey's not there, if your conquers is not there, if your will's not there, you're not gonna be able to compete with the the ones who run the world, you know? Who are stand on top of the world with their hockey. You know what the real answer is? Zoro would just train that much harder because he'll never <laughs> allow Sanji to be stronger than him. I agree with everything Lawrence said, actually. Yeah. Uh what about you, I, Curvy? I, I, <laughs> There, I think if she saw Sanji start lifting weight, Zoro would be going for double that. Whatever Sanji's lifting. <laughs> whatever it is, bro. I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm maxing out at double whatever you at. Because no. Not, not happening. Yeah, that's true. But... No, thank you guys so much. I uh, first listened to you guys on Spotify. I'm so happy I was able to make the live today. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you, man. man. You don't, don't don't say thank you. Thank you, bro, yeah. for Shout just to... listening and coming through. Shout out to you and all the Spotify listeners at home, man. All the curvies all the cur- <laughs> out there, bro. Thicken up. Thick. Thick. <laughs> On a Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. What you doing out here? Just... All that. <laughs> caked up. A... Double caked up. Is it? Double cheeked up. Oh, Thursday. <laughs> it was Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> But thank you so much, man. Seriously, yeah, have a nice you, night. Bro. Yeah. See you in the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. All right. Luck, you guys. See you later, thank man. You guys. Have a good one. Thanks for coming. Funny episode. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> guys, if you haven't liked the video, like the video. Hey, what's going on? This is Larry from that One Piece talk. Who are you and how are you? Hey, this is Blazer Blazer. Hey, Blazer, 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 coming through consistently. Love to see it. Yeah, I know. I heard you guys talking about uh, fish smell and Dendro, so I thought I'd pop in. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Some fingers stank. Bro, uh, please explain. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just had, um, I thought of something for Garp, and uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Oh, tell us, man. Yeah, so... um. I was honest. I was thinking more on the boat of he gets captured, but I was kind of thinking that um, he kind of goes out the same way Roger did, like a live execution, big smile on his face, but he like kind of like leaves something for the world. I'm not sure like what it is, but something. I think that'd be like a pretty city end. Yeah, somebody mentioned this before. Yeah. So so and and I love that you brought it up because I wanted to bring it up earlier, but I. I forgot to do it. Um, the fact that Garp has a bounty that he has, um, I think that Oda could be playing something up there. Like, he has that cross-kill bounty. Is it possible? Like, Black people are trying to trade him in with the government and stuff with Kobe. If I have Garp, it's a bigger trade chip. If they're not willing to play ball, either... I, I know I went huge, big Garp, pack watch, everything, but like, what if it's very more Oda-like? It's like, okay, I'm going to trade him into a cross-kill. And then Cross Guild does a public execution. Because I can't see Blackbeard technically thinking it's worth it to do that. To have the, the, the that kind of ire of the Marines on him. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, oh, that's too risky. But if I sell him to Cross Guild, mm-hmm. Buggy's stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? He might actually do this public execution. And then it could lead to that sort of, like, um, like how Roger paved the, the Great Pirate era. What if he paves the Great Marine era through his past his through his execution i don't know what he would say i don't know you know it's really just to inspire kobe and Bruce and people like that or whatever but in general like what if he is inspired by to by roger to do something like that um it might be unintentional but i could see us going down that path mm-hmm. you know plus buggy like we've already gotten a sengoku and suru were talking about buggy and cross guild specifically mm-hmm. if that is the the focal point of what the Marines are going to be focusing on, why not make Garp the centerpiece of that conflict, too? So, I don't know. I think, I think it works. I don't know if that's where you were going exactly with it, as far as the him being executed, but that's where my mind went. So, Well, do you have anything to say? No, my shit is crazy. The most I'm just thinking the aftermath. Like, <laughs> um, the Marines' reaction, also uh, Dragon and Luffy's reaction to that. 
you know. And what does that play with? Because also you said Buggy is stupid. Then he would have the only way Buggy pulls this off, he has to do this without Mihawk and Crocodile's knowledge. Thinking I gotta pay back Crocodile, and he's I I could I'm gonna do this, but because they but they were not condone him doing that. It just hit me again. Remember Buggy? Remember Dragon's first introduction? It was him executing Luffy Luffy in Dragon Cave. (laughs) <laughs> oh my what goodness. What if it was foreshadowing for him executing Gar, bro? That would be. And, tra- and Luffy and Dragon Book. If Oda did that, like the foreshadowed <laughs> this with like, but the real one, I'm going to use Garp. They foreshadowed with Luffy. And he has to get saved by pirates and revolutionaries. Oh my god. Uh, the listen, irony. The, the pulp, Yo. It's all there, bro. It's just, This is why Oda's on it, bro. Yeah, that would be good. What about you? What do you think? Um, I, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen, but like I, I would kind of like to see him get executed. I think it would just be probably the most fitting way he can go off. Like just kind of the same as Roger I was saying earlier, just just giving something to the world and like changing it in some way in his like final moment. Uh, that would that would be crazy. Now you got me thinking of like things. I know it's been brought up before. I just don't know how. I'm gonna be honest. I, I, to keep it a book, I don't know. How I'm, I want to go with the story regarding Garp. I think yeah, it, he's just a guy that we all love. And I think for him to get taken off screen would kind of hurt. So even though I know it would make a better story, most likely, I just want to keep him in the story. He's kind of like, I, I mentioned this before. If you watch uh, My Hero Academia, My Hero Academia fell off after uh, All Might wasn't in it no more. It was spoilers, bro. No, I'm playing. Straight up. I don't know about that. But. Yo, yo, tell me I'm not, yo. Like, I looked forward to All Might. Like, All Might was that guy. I just yeah. loved him. And then when he wasn't in it no more, and after, like, I feel like my hero tried to reach that type of peak, and they just couldn't for a while. So, I mean, if we could find something better than Garp, then yeah, but. You think we're going to miss out on, like, I understand that Garp's a lot older, but, like, a Luffy and Garp? Like a little exhibition, like showdown, like because we got a little taste of it, Marine Four nah. War. I just want a little taste of it. Yo, <laughs> it would be crazy if Garp said that the One Piece was real too. <laughs> he would not nah. say that. Nah. He yeah, would say nah, it. Yeah. That's promoting piracy. Yo, That's like everything against Garp. Nah. I'll say this. Well, his tagline was that the end of this chapter could be could have been a dope send off, like justice will prevail. But he's already said it now. Yeah. So he needs a, another one. Yeah. But, I don't know. But but like, he's like, evil. Like, he could like prop up. Um, wait, what, what, what's um Luffy's friend that's in the Marines? And I, I just for Kobe. Kobe. He kind of like props up Kobe, like um, All Might did in MHA with Deku. He's like he's passing the torch on to him now as the new hero. Mm-hmm. That could be well. Yo, he basically is doing that. What if he tells Kobe to capture Luffy? <laughs> <laughs> He's just saying it. It's never going to happen. <laughs> he knows how strong his grandson is. He knows Kobe ain't there. Listen, bro. Got to inspire somebody. Listen, somewhere. there's a piece of me that believes that Kobe barely got trained by Garp because he wasn't out here punching <laughs> ships. <laughs> well, here's the thing. He wasn't. Aokiji decided to do that. Like, he did that. Listen, you know what I understand, is? but it was said that Garp was training him, but it was really Bogart. Yeah, it was really Bogart. And where Bogart at in the chapter? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, leave Bogart alone, <laughs> He should be out there. I don't know he's he's tripping. He know Garp got it. I mean, he's wrong, but <laughs> Bogart should have classed with Shiryu. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, he should have been the one to protect. Yeah, she, Bogart yeah. say y'all keep you out there. That's crazy. You know, <laughs> yes. you know how hype that would have been. <laughs> if Bogart Where just was like... Bogart? Why he wasn't punching ships? Yeah, damn, bro. He's Let too me busy stop. cutting them. <laughs> you you realize it? You realize? Shut up! Shut up! You realize it? All right, but yeah. Anything else, man? Uh, no, I think that's it. Oh, well, listen, it's a pleasure having you call up, and thank you, man. We really appreciate yeah. it. Have a good day, guys. Yeah, yeah you too. too. See you later. Damn, Marv, that was loud. <laughs> you know, if you guys uh, want to like the video, you can. Just let you know. <laughs> if you haven't already. Hey, what's going on? This is Larry from That One Piece Talk. Who are you and how are you? Hello? Hello. Hello. Is it me? Yo, can you hear me? For? Hello. We can What's hear up, you, man. man. What's up? <laughs> What's up? What's up? Talk to us, man. Hey, so um 
this is an interesting question. So, what what One Piece movie would you would you like to see? I know everyone wants a Marines movie, mm. but like, what what else? There's so much to to pull from that sometimes some things we haven't seen yet. You know what I mean? So what? Well, what what else would you guys want besides the uh, the obvious Marine movie? Mm. The world is so big in One Piece. There's so many moments too that we just would like to go back to get fleshed out. I would say the other movie I do want, it's funny because now I'm going by like fractions. I want to see a Rebs movie. I think seeing the Rebs yeah. movie, uh, seeing what Dragon had to go through and why he had to create it, uh, him meeting the love of his life possibly or some chick that he just you know got it in with but then seeing the aspirations as to why he's doing what he's doing and then collecting people uh would kind of be like a mini uh pirate movie itself and then it would feature some of these big bads that dragon had to overcome because you just don't become the strongest in the verse right without having some adversity mm -hmm. so maybe he went to impel down and garnered you know and gained some more crew members uh, for the revs or just passing through cities and towns and seeing the destruction of the world itself i think you'll be able to put new characters into the movie we've never seen before but have had an impact on the series we just weren't aware of them because we we're dealing with so much you know else and then the kuma thing and then having the interesting facts from kuma's mm. uh abilities but also vegapunk would be in there right like vegapunk's uh additional resources he would add to the show so i think the movie that would be a very good movie for me i just want to get away from the straw hats realistically so i don't yeah. know if you guys had a even though even though we love them yeah yeah and, i mean look at this we haven't seen the straw hats in how long and yeah everybody's going crazy about egghead so yeah far. like this arc so yeah you don't need them for peak one piece yeah world building you know like the whole thing oda what makes what thing that stands morge even said it you know, it stands Oda out from other Mangakus is the world he builds in the One Piece world without the Straw Hats. Now, mm -hmm. things are moving on, things are going on, and the Straw Hats may not necessarily be involved <clears throat> with it or even know what's going on. It doesn't take the Straw Hats to be there for this to happen. It happens outside them, with them, before them, after them, mm -hmm. regardless, you know? Yo, low-key, a Roger movie. Roger movie that's, fire. That's, I said four. I have four yeah. more yeah. movies. movies. Roger movie I have one crazy. With, I, just the two years that the Straw Hats weren't here like okay, a movie a on one. the two years whether it's right. the warlords the 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 like we said a, a piece of it go into the aokiji versus um akainu the payback war like just a movie on those two years yeah mm -hmm. i think that would be yeah. fire so i have another one my bad no i i can say wait uh, i have one and i'll stop okay a Celestial Dragon movie. Ooh. Oh, that is a good one. Oh. A Garling movie. <laughs> like put us in put us in the motherland, right? Bro. And have us follow one of the most evil dudes of all time and just let us experience a day through that and what, you know, happens. Mm -hmm. that, that would be dope. so that crazy. Would, yo. All right, my bad. Now you go. That would be so dark. That is <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it would be like, really dark. Oh You're right. Word. That would be 100 dark. To me, but for them Oda has to do it right, and he has to make them canon. Not no offense, but not like the Z movie from what we just saw. Mm -hmm. For hundred canon, but you mentioned Gold Roger. That's one, and an Ace movie would also be dope, right? Oh, an Ace uh, movie, a Gold Roger movie, and a God Valley movie. Oh, of course, I mean, yeah, God Everybody Valley. Well, sure. One yeah. I think yeah. would be oh, really, yeah. really dope, and it has to do it right. Favorite, a Void Century movie. Yeah, bro. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we've movie. said this. We hope yeah. we go into it. Yeah. I don't have I can't make enough options here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what about you though, man? What do you what, what movie would you want to uh, watch? So the the Celestial Drag movie, that that would be interesting. Cause what if you could do like you fought like they show you some of the Celestial Dragons and then like what if it's during the time that Fisher Tiger freed some of the slaves, so you could mm. like jump to a slave and then yeah. like see Fisher Tiger like like it's like helping some of them escape. That would be really interesting. That's a but, great point. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. But also, what a I know we had Stampede that had the 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 Supernovas. But what about a, a worse generation movie? Like, what if we see some of kids' backstory, like get that all animated and stuff? It would be a kind of long movie. I think it would do. It could do really well if you do it. Remember that one Batman movie where it was yeah. like in it was like six different stories where you fought like Deadshot and you fought like a uh, yeah. Like I think if you did that and just tell a story where they each got their own, I think it could work. But it's a lot of juggling you're gonna have to do yeah. there. Like it's eleven of them. Well, mine is there's nine of them. I think it would be better as like an OVA. Yeah. Yeah, like, like a an six-part series. Yeah, or just, yeah it's like, like it, six-part series. Or nine-part do, series. Do like 20, maybe 15 minutes, probably. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. yeah, I'm not too so sure. The only problem is he has to, like, I'm a, this is the gamma shot, the, for example, the Ace novel. You can't do it like that. You have to make it canon and legit, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, do better for them to really count and to us to be interested, like, as if you're writing the part of the One Piece story itself. Bro, I need a, a Nell on the Moon over. Oh, chill out, bro. <laughs> bro. Chill out. I need to watch yeah, the... what he doing, bro. Tell us. Blackbeard movie. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna see him on Whitebeard shit just eating pies. Eating, yeah, eating pies. Just, just eating pies. Just eating pies. Just doing <laughs> absolutely nothing. The other gen members. Mm. Yeah. But, but thank you so much for the call, man. That was really interesting uh, thought process with the mm-hmm. movies. We always talk about One Piece movies, but I think we expanded yes, further yes. this time. So yeah. thank you. So thank you, bro. Thank, thank you. Much love. Much, yeah, much love, love, brother. Keep up the good work. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. Appreciate you. You too. Have a nice day. Yeah, you, you too. too. Enjoy yourself. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to do one more call, guys, okay? And then we have to do Super Chats. Hey, what's going on? This is Larry from That One Piece Talk. Who are you and how are you? Hey, uh, I'm Kale. Hey, uh, what's up, Kale? I, I appreciate it. I've been trying to get it for a while. Uh, <laughs> let me turn this off. Uh, all right, I got a, a crazy Blackbeard theory for you. Tell us. All right. So, as we know, there's like a lot of speculation around Blackbeard having multiple souls, right? Mm-hmm. So, um, there's like, uh, all right. I'm sorry. I did not think I was gonna get in. I'm a little shaken up right now. But okay. Um, <laughs> so it's uh, okay, let me ask, bro. Let me ask, yeah. Uh, so there's a character in the story that we know that has the ability to make someone have three souls. And that is Waffle. As we know, he, 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 um, he ate his two henchmen and he made them one person. So I was thinking now that he has more relevance in the story and, um, like the reason he went to, Drum Kingdom, I think it all has something to do with that. And I think Blackbeard is three people in one because of Waffle's power. So you think Blackbeard is the result of somebody in the past using Waffle's devil fruit to eat multiple people? Yeah, I think okay. I think uh, Blackbeard is, is three people using Waffle's ability. Not necessarily Waffle, maybe the past user. Right. And I think the reason he went to Drum Kingdom was to get that devil fruit. Hmm. It was either that or Chopper's fruit. Interesting. Well, that uh, is interesting. I mean, I can see that. I'm, Wapo is back into the story. I'm trying Black to remember prominence. when Wapo did this. I don't remember if he did it in the series or if it was in the movie or not. When or, he, he ate like remember. people and they came to be one person? I haven't read Drum I haven't Kingdom in a while, bro. It's been a long time. Um, yeah, it's been I'm, a long time. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I have it though. <laughs> but take your word for it. No, but, that's, um, that's interesting though. Like mm-hmm. I, I think, hmm, it's really got me like stumped. Like, what would that mean? It's, right? Like, it's, it's, it's just an explanation. Either. It doesn't make him like more hawks or anything. It's just like an explanation yeah. of why he can eat multiple devil fruits. Yeah. But like, yeah, it potentially true. makes Wapple broken. Mm. As like a, I can create people who can create 
multiple them, <laughs> eat multiple them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it would increase why they're after him right now beyond what yeah. his regular information or knowledge that he has and what he saw. But I don't know. I think I like that. I do like that. I think it'll be cool. Yeah. I was just rewatching and and I was on Drum Kingdom and I and I, I saw him eat his two henchmen and I was like, Hold on a minute. <laughs> like something something could work out here. And now that he has relevance or relevance back in the story and like he's he's back in it, I think like it might come in come into play a little bit and we'll find out more about Blackbeard and why he's able to eat more than one devil fruit. Hey, I can see it, bro. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people call in with theories, and we'd be like, nah, bro, that's crazy. But I can see this one. It's not far beyond Oda to do something, like, weird or wacky like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, appreciate the call. We got to wrap up soon. We got to get to some super chats. But thank you so much for calling. Yeah, thank you, bro. And sharing your thoughts yeah. with us. I, I appreciate it. I, I didn't think I'd get in, but I'm finally caught up, and you guys have a great community. I love everything you do. I listen to you at work, and thanks for listening to me, hearing me out. Yeah, of course. No, thank you, bro. It's our pleasure, bro. Seriously. Have a good one. Yeah, you, you too. too. Later. So nice right. day, bro. Yeah, I Mark, mean, no more calls. we're getting hated online. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's a good refresher to oh, see. Oh, man. But well, well, yeah. I um, mean, it's what our community what yeah, thinks. This is, that's this what we're building. Community. So, yeah. 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 So yeah. Everybody else is. outside of it doesn't really know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, let's go through some super chats before we close out, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for the patience. Sorry for everybody that didn't get a chance to call up. Yeah. Uh, but you could do your job and get us to 500 likes. <laughs> 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 we did get a $10 super chat from Kyle Kenny. It says, Larry, your head biggish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying how nice everybody's being. Oh, oh man. No. We got perfect way to like balance it out right <laughs> we got we got a membership to nakama status from omar daniels thank you so much omar enjoy all the emojis that come with being a nakama we got 10 gifted memberships uh from firearms thank you so thank much you, firearms. firearms thank for you. those of you that are Indeed. accepting the memberships enjoy all the emojis that come being a member we got another five from Omar Daniels. It says, if Ace didn't die and Whitebeard did of sickness, do you think Ace would be the new captain or leave and join Luffy? Um, neither. Same. Stay tuned for Ace Peace. It's coming. <laughs> it is coming. Ace's crew. Mar Marco would have been the interim captain <laughs> until yeah. Ace yeah. was ready. I disagree. But. Sure. Whatever. That's <laughs> it. You'll see. Uh, anyway, uh, we got another five from Nubish, Nubish Advent. It says, made my day that laughing at my dumb jokes. I work 65 plus hour weeks. Wanted to call in and toss theories out, but work. Shrub. Bro, slavery's over, bro. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Love listening to y'all uh, hour long drive home. Hey, man, um, don't work too hard, bro. Yeah, don't work too hard, That's bro. 65 plus is rough. Take yeah, a minute rough. to do push-ups. Yeah, yeah, man. Glad, Glad you... we could be there for you and you're right home. Yeah, yeah. man, for sure. Uh, we got another 10 from KJ. It's been a while. It says, my guys, so Van Auger can warp literally anywhere in the present. Is it crazy to think he can warp into the future past by, like, second using ob advanced observation hockey or base observation hockey? What do y'all say? That sounds like Dragon uh, is super. I would say no. I think his awakening would be, like, Teleporting island. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the route Oda would go in. Yeah, I think you can use the warp warp fruit in conjunction with like mm -hmm. observation of future sight to like warp to a point to prevent a future that you don't want. But I don't think he could actually enter the future yeah. or enter the past. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That sounds that's, a lot like Dragon Ball Z Super with this dude hit. I, but I don't think it's going to. Yeah, what, I, what Sebastian said. Couldn't call it. We got 200 DKK, I don't know what that is, from Young S. It says, I just want to say amazing things you guys doing. Keep it going. Much love. Finally, summer vacation. Where can I watch a full, where I can watch a full live. Thank you so much for hey, being here, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate thank you so timer. much. Mm -hmm. thank, you, uh, thank you. We got another two from a stereo jack. It says, Seb, who do you actually want to live? Oh, man. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> yeah, I, listen, listen, Kobe. You know, just people, future people. Yeah. People who can impact the story later. Um, 
we got another five from Evan S. It says, what do you guys think would be the best Devil Fruit pairs, combos, or the coolest ones you would want to see most? Also, when's the next DDT? Oh, man. We can't answer the first question because we don't have enough time. Yeah. But Sorry. the next DDT? Maybe this Friday night? If you're free. I don't know if you'll be free. I'll be free if you need me. All right. Maybe this Friday. Try it. Try it. We got another 15 from King Kangney. Um, it says... I absolutely love y'all shorts, and whenever I can, I will tune in and support y'all. Also, who's y'all favorite straw hat? Thank you so much, King. Uh, mine is Sanji. I don't know who mine is right now. Uh, Luffy and Zoro. Always Lawrence, bro. Uh, we got another five from Madongir. I think. Or Mad Mad Angry. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. It says, what's up, T.O.P.T.? I love the channel. Who Thank you think you. would win a rematch between Kaido and Luffy? Both full stamina and health. I have Kaido winning mid-diff. Mid-diff go... is crazy. Mid-diff is crazy. I'm going to go extreme diff Kaido. Extreme diff Kaido. High to extreme Kaido. Yeah. Yeah. We got another thing. <laughs> looking at it like, what? What was it with? Kaido versus who? Luffy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kaido. We got another five from Brendan Miller. It says, Wiper got stabbed 19 times with three holes in his chest and still brought the noise. Garp gets poked once and people count him out. Come on, man. Yeah, Garp is Garp going to do things. He's still on pack watch, but he's going to do some things. <laughs> um, plus, he's been fighting off panel that we didn't see. Uh, we got another three-month membership to Nakama status. It says, what if Kuzan freezes Garp in Don Chin Zhao's ice level? Oh, Ch Don Chin Zhao level ice. <laughs> Because he was crack, he couldn't crack it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's probably capable of replicating that ice. Um, we got another five from Samuel Shaw. It says Bogart obviously believes Garp can win because he hasn't got involved yet, so he must know Garp has a lot more in the bag and can still win. Hashtag Larry Doves. Bogart seasons incoming, bro. <laughs> I need I need Bogart to start, bro. I do. But that's it. Yeah. But listen, guys, I just want to personally say thank you for the rant. And letting me do so um thank you for liking the video thank you for listening to us thank you for watching us if you're new here listen i'll tell you straight up uh what you stumbled upon is amazing don't let the internet fool you especially those that might not favor us um if you go back in the video and you watch uh what i said and what i proved and how i feel about things you'll notice that like i'm like the most loving guy ever so um Thank you to you. Thank you for joining. Uh, please like the video if you haven't so we can get to 500. <laughs> uh, please join our Discord. It's growing so much, and it's such a healthy environment. And overall, just thank you for all the super chats and love that you showed and for calling up. I got to say, there's been a lot of hate lately, but you guys have continuously showed support, and you guys know what the truth is. So thank you so much. I can't say it enough. Um, but my name is Larry. Lawrence. Sam. And this is that one piece talk. Jana. 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 <laughs> Jana. <laughs> <laughs>